to future wrestling this is our third episode here on the nerds are us channel uh, i'm joined by my familiar group who we'll introduce in a moment uh, we are missing a few though unfortunately uh, kev can't make it so you, you've no cyrus gold witty banter this week and unfortunately tony can't make it either but for the time being before we jump into our episode let's uh, let's introduce the room so on my left here on my brady brunch screen is uh, kira kira uh, who are you playing as i am violet storm um after being attacked last week, I'm going to see what's happening now. Yeah, she's not too happy about that. Again, Indie no. Darling, big in, in a much bigger pond, and then suddenly just uh, assaulted by a wagon, basically, um, and a rather lanky uh, streak of piss that follows her around everywhere. So uh, we'll see how that develops over time. On my right, then, I have uh, my good friend Dennis. Dennis, who are you playing as? Uh, I am playing Cutter the Monster, who is bent on destruction and uh, after last week his manager pastor fred rose was questioning why he is not in the main event scene so this week he'll be op- issuing an open challenge mm. uh, to dominate again indeed and as we'll find out that and that challenge has indeed been answered uh, and let me say cutter Good fucking luck, because uh, <laughs> you'll fucking need it. Uh, on my bottom left, then, we have uh, our, my good friend, Jerry. Jerry, um, this is the third time I'm going to try and explain the character. Uh, do you want to give it a go? <laughs> good the champ. Yes. I'm playing Alan Moff tonight. Mm-hmm. Normally, I'm all kinds of animal, but tonight, there's only one animal I can be. What, what would happen when I team with Foxy? You're going to have to stay tuned to see. Indeed, indeed. He's a, Ooh, isn't, like he a li- that, um, isn't he a I little like tease? Air of mystery. Yes. Air of mystery, just like our I'm so, I'm so excited. It's so lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. He just he just he's just like he's just got us all uh, hooked in already and he hasn't even started to be in character yet. It's great. Uh natural showman. So uh right underneath you then is uh Jamie. Jamie, you're playing our um our, the nicest guy in the roster. That's right. <laughs> I'm James Rage, resident psychopath. Uh, yeah. Yes. So far, you have a perfect record of injuring people in your matches. So, uh, well and, 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 yeah, well done. And and shockingly, you're facing Cutter tonight in his open challenge. Um, I like to make statements. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, his face! <laughs> Um, yeah, statements, that's a word for That's a real fuck. <laughs> fuck <laughs> you fucking pricks. That was a real you f- mm, fuck you. Yeah, you pretty much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, Cutter because he's been uh, cast of the Shadow Realm after this match. Um, and whatever. Um, on my uh, bottom right then I is a- for us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so my bottom right then is Amy. Amy, good morning. Uh, welcome to the show. Um, who are you playing as this week? Uh, I'm playing as Selena um, mm-hmm. Wake. I'll be doing it this time. Um, That's good. I, I missed last week. Well, I, I missed last week's in, in like mind. I was there in body, but uh, I wasn't actually there. Yes. So I, I have no idea what happened last week. Um, so th- this is like this got me just as much as a surprise for me as it is for everyone else watching, I guess. Can't <laughs> wait to see what I did last week. Uh, can't wait to see what I set up for this week. Indeed, indeed. So I, 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 I thought I had a day off, to be honest. <laughs> I can never get a day off of future now. wrestling. 
never get a day off in future wrestling. Just ask my protege who I bro- have broken twice in two weeks. Never gets a day <laughs> off. Uh, he's dead now. Sorry, I thought yeah. he was dead. Oh I mean, well, he's he's <laughs> he's, he's uh, status is pending at the moment. It's like it's like the eight ball, too early to tell bullshit, you know. Um, <laughs> Very fun. Come yeah, back later. Back. Yeah, exactly. Like he's he's retired at the tender age of nineteen. The money. Dudley <laughs> versus Cutter is the Connor Lock Memorial match. <laughs> yeah, the winner gets to have his remains. Just <laughs> um, so yeah, um, just to fill Amy in. Well, she's fucked off now. Okay, fair enough. Um, so uh, to finish off, then right down the bottom, then is Foxy. Uh, Foxy, who are you playing as? So I'm playing as uh, Silver Fox, the uh, disgruntled heel Lucha Lucha character. Mm-hmm. Who uh, was unfortunately paired with Alan Moore last week and doesn't want <laughs> to get roped into all this hokey fucking comedy shite. <laughs> He's a serious wrestler now, I'd cry. To actually admit that he does maybe like him. Oh, oh, look at that. That's, that's nice. That's really cute. You have to um, wait and find out. Yes. Oh, you see, see, he's learning. He's learning from Morph to fucking keep people hooked in. You see, it's good. Um, (laughs) (laughs) So anyway, uh, yeah, like I said, Foxy is one of our championship contenders uh, who will be facing off in the pay-per-view in two weeks time, along with uh, James Rage. uh, Politics. uh, (laughs) Politics, yes. Selena and Cyrus Gold. There's your four championship contenders. But in the meantime, Alan Morph doesn't seem to want. He's not. Get, you're not getting rid of Alan Morph that easily. So we'll find out tonight what uh, these two have in store uh, for each other. So uh, yeah, we better get started then. Um, so we'll start off with our opening contest, which is scheduled for one fall. Oh. Introducing to the ring first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, introducing to the ring first. Weighing in at 221 pounds from Helsinki, Finland, Kalpir Kalvala. Everybody, that shit. Here comes Kalvala. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is Tony's character. Unfortunately, he hasn't been able to play him yet. Just uh, scheduling conflicts at the moment. It's very hard to book somebody when they're in a different time zone. Um, so, at the moment, uh, Kalpir is this kind of anti hero um, archetype, if you like. And he doesn't really regale to the crowd that much. He's super serious. He's on a bit of a losing streak, though. He hasn't won yet in future wrestling. Ah! Yeah. (laughs) So, yeah, it hasn't gone well for him so far. He's not hit the ground running in future wrestling. He's hoping this match, he might change his fortunes. We'll see how it goes. And introducing his opponents. Weighing in at 241 pounds from Waterford, Ireland, Cyrus Goals. <laughs> I think I'm going to call this match the In, in Absentia match because uh, Kev was meant to be here but couldn't make it. So uh, <laughs> this, is gonna, this is not going to take long on the runtime at all. But uh, Cyrus Goals, you're kind of your bubbly top baby face, like, uh, you know, real crowd pleaser, super energetic. Um, Ultimate Warrior without the racism, and he runs down to the ring. And, I was uh, thinking Bailey. Yeah, Bailey without the racism. That's Male it. Bailey. Um, <laughs> Boily, there he is. That's his name. <laughs> I call him that from now on. So yeah, he runs down to the ring. He's the, he's doing the whole excited baby face stuff. Complete contrast to Calpier, who's having none of this shite. Um, and the both square off in the ring. So yes, unfortunately we're gonna have to simulate this match, lads, because uh, both of our players are not here tonight. So uh, it's going to be a fairly uh, straightforward affair. Calpir is going to try and uh, basically push and bully Cyrus around because there's a bit of an experience uh, difference in between them. But Cyrus is a fucking natural athlete and will just use his natural power to uh, throw Calpir around. Calpir will try and bend the rules and try and like, you know, because he's, he's, he still needs to win a match in this fucking company, but no such luck. Um, Cyrus Gold will put Calpir away with a pretty straightforward full Nelson finisher. And um, Calpir will pass out because, uh, as we as we know from last week, uh, Mr. James Rage put a quite a nasty number on uh, on Calpir and specifically his jaw. 
So Cyrus will eventually take advantage of that and Cal Perry will succumb to his injury and Cyrus Gold will win. So uh, good result for, for Cyrus. Just needs to continue the momentum uh, moving into the pay-per-view uh, or sorry, live special in a week and a bit time. So there you have it. That was our nice opener. Trust me, it was going to be great, um, but uh, you're just going to have to imagine it now um, <clears throat> at that point. So then we... Uh, we, we we come to our we come to our commentary table. We've got Mike Dublin, our uh, our play, our straight straight nose by the book commentator, and we've got Credit O'Neill, our color commentator, and uh, they are having a bit of back and forth explaining about the uh, fatal four way coming up at the live special hostile takeover. We've uh, Mike says that we've actually really spoken uh, at length to, uh, or rather, they've spoken to us at length, uh, one of our championship contenders last week, and this week we're continuing this series of interviews with our championship contenders as Curtis O'Neill sits down with a with what would be now considered rather an icon in this business, Selena. So we get we cut down to a, a nice, easy sit, sit down interview, similar setting to the one last week. We've got Selena and Kratos O'Neill, and they're gonna talk shop. So so Selena, um thank you for joining me here uh tonight. Um we've known each other for quite a while. I wasn't even an option. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure no you were back, back to the RSL days. Indeed, indeed. Look, I've known you for a long time, right? We've worked together how many years? It's too long to count for me. Um, but I've known you when you were top of the card. I knew you when you were champion of Absolutely Rapid, and you held that title with with pride. But that was two week, two years ago, and two weeks ago. <laughs> In that, <laughs> it may have, may have felt like two weeks ago, but no, it was certainly two years ago. In that time, you haven't held a championship belt, and you've travelled around the world. You've you've went to different different federations, different promotions, but you've never reached the tops that you did in Absolutely Rapid. How can you tell? How can you convince me and convince everyone that your main event quality again? I don't need to convince anyone. I really don't. I'm doing this for me. I'm not doing this for you. I'm not doing this for fans that are watching in the background saying that I'm, I've reached my peak and that I don't have a place here anymore. This is all for me. I've done everything that I wanted to do. Everything else now is just a bonus. Kyle Decker puts me into this match because Kyle Decker himself knows that I deserve or that I'm more than capable of going in against whoever my opponents are. I'll be honest, I can't even remember. I don't care. My only job here is to make sure that I'm getting a paycheck at the end of the day and that people are entertained. Whether I come out with a championship or not, I don't have anything to prove in that sense. You mentioned there about your uh, your opponents. You very much have an edge over them in terms of experience, but there's a lot of fresh blood around, a lot of natural talents, a lot of natural athletes. How do you assess your chances against them? Two people that you've never met in the ring before and one person that you know all too well from the years. How do you feel that's going to work, perhaps to your advantage or disadvantage? See, this is the thing is, this is an advantage, I think, to anyone and all of us. I might have never have worked with them in the ring. They've never worked with me in the ring. So far, everyone has just come in underestimating me in this. Everyone has just said, oh, you've has been. You haven't reached the peaks that you've did now. So already, everyone is putting themselves at a disadvantage by pushing me to the side. I'm going to prove to them why I was the peak at Absolute Rapid Wrestling and why now I'm not really a force that should be disregarded or tossed aside. James Rage, Cyrus Gold, uh, who else? Silver Fox. <laughs> I mean, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, him. Like, please. They mean absolutely bullshit and nothing to me at this point. James Rage is too busy having a little pissy fit over everyone else. He's not even looking at the big picture on this. He's too busy trying to make a name for himself against Cutter now or Calpier or whoever the hell Kyle Decker decides to throw him against next. I'm going to show everyone why I am still top of my game and I'm going to do that in the ring. Selena, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Best of luck at the main event. Thank you, Calpier. No, 
No, no, what's your name again? <laughs> Kratos O'Neill, <laughs> Selena. We've worked each other for four years. Okay, so in my defense, I've taken an awful lot of hits. I've taken, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hey, I've taken an awful lot of hits to the head. And I mean, the last time I remember, I think the last time me and you were in a match, you left me in a pool of my own blood from, from a head wound. So, I mean, g- give me a break here, okay? I yeah. can't remember what happened last week, let alone yesterday. <laughs> yeah, that was a fun week. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, it was good times, so good times. <laughs> we leave it there, we leave it there. So, so yeah, that's good. Um, so, Selena, uh, let's roll on that, shall we? Um, you have zero stats, um, which is not a bad thing, by the way. It just means you're like you're a solid, solid base. So, a, uh, give us a straight roll then yeah. on your promo. Give me two seconds because I have to get the place up. Oh, I'm also, well, while well, we're solid for time, I will say I'm going to add a plus one to that because I, I quite like that promo. I like the back and forth. So, whatever your role is, I'm going to add a plus one to it. Oh, come on, you fuck. Sorry, the internet's taking the pit. Seven. Right. Seven. So, that's an eight. Uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'm going to give you a plus one momentum. And uh, that's good to start off with your match against uh, Kazero, which was your main event tonight. So, with that in mind then, uh, we cut back then to the uh, Future Wrestling Arena, and it's because it's time for our next match, which, of course, is scheduled for one fall. One fall! Introducing to the ring first. It's a really big finger. Weighing in at 161 pounds from Sandyford, Dublin, the influencer, Dahlia Thorne. Yes, Andy Ford. Yes. So. D4, 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 D4. 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 So, she, so she's getting all this stick from the, from the crowd. Everyone's doing her. No one likes her. She's accompanied to the ring by the lanky streak of piss that is Damon Garrick, her boyfriend. And uh, he just, um, he's just there not doing much, you know? He's just there, like, just looking a bit dopey. Well, she starts hugging the crowd, like she's got the two phones out, she's tweeting and squatting and everything else in between. She's working the socials at the minute for this entrance, all the way down. I think Tyler Breeze, but far more annoying. And then she rolls in the ring, does a few pauses, goes for the cameras, and uh, that's basically her entrance. Fucking tweeting and twatting. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see Is that not what it's called, no? <laughs> well, I'm really out of the loop. Okay, um, so... <laughs> Introducing her opponent. Weighing in at 187 pounds, Violet Storm. So Kira, at last we have a character that, some, that someone is playing. Please take us to your entrance. <laughs> oh God, it's me. <laughs> so I come out, I'm still looking around the crowd saying, right, okay, I'm here. Can't get me from behind now. Mm-hmm. I'm down the ramp and I'm straight in. Ignore mm. it. Ignore All right. It. Nice little bit of heat there. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. So, uh, in that case, Kira, seeing that you're going for a hot start, can you give us a roll, please? I can't believe it. Dahlia has actually followed me back on Instagram. This is a moment I have been waiting for. Mikey Dublin, I am now validated. <laughs> it seven. A seven, yeah, that's good. So you're gonna rush into the ring, and you're, I presume, you're gonna charge at Dahlia Thorne. I presume. Yeah. Okay, Grant, and you do so. So uh, you have her down to the ground. Talk us through your your sequence. I just want to wail on her for a sec. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> good, yeah. She hit me from behind. Oh, yeah, that's Tom cool. is just wailing on Dahlia. This is not going to do well. For Dahlia's next Instagram photo shoot, which Damon, I do believe, has scheduled for backstage later on this evening with what I think is a brown bear or a fox or some sort of animal. I do remember seeing an animal running around earlier on. We assumed it was for the Sandyford 2. Oh, it makes them oh. sound like criminals. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not. Um, so, uh, yeah, so you're, you keep welling on it there. Storm by name, storm by nature. Just going to feed you that line for later on, Amy. Um, so... <laughs> Uh, um, so yeah, you're gonna keep welling on her. So the referee's gonna break you two up. 
mm-hmm. um, Dadia's going to pretend that she's uh, she's like drawing the referee's attention because she thinks she's mm-hmm. been hit, like uh, flush in the face. Referee's the referee Sonny Baloney um, is uh, not the most like um, aware referee, so he's fallen for this like trick, hook, All line, right. and sinker. Yeah, and uh, is is fallen for the act. So she think so she's he's cautioning you on uh, on open fists. So he's a, you basically seem like you hit her a flush with one. So she he's cautioning you with uh, with open strikes, not no up not open palms, none of this like straight shooting nonsense. Um, that's not allowed. So you've been cautioned on that. So uh, Kira, you're back in control here. What do you want to do next? Sorry, hold on. Has the bell rang? Yeah. The bell is rung now. Yeah. So <laughs> she really shouldn't be cautioned then, considering the bell hadn't rung at that point. The bell I rang. Don't believe the, the ref. I do not believe that the, that the rules have been outlined correctly here. Sonny Baloney is already pissing off a few of the fans, and including Violet Storm here, who's like, the bell hasn't rung yet. The bell has not rung yet. Now it has. Ring wrong. announces. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Now I have rung the bell. Now we may start the match. I have decided, as color commentator, I will ring the bell. Bell has rung. As common commentator, animal enthusiast, only one could be asked to travel from the back. At least I'm here, unlike anyone else. <laughs> Mikey doesn't even speak to us during the commentary. <laughs> Sorry, so, onto the hey, match. Um, to, back to the match, yes. So, uh, Kira, let's uh, let's talk you through. So, you've been separated. You've been cautioned by the referee. What do you want to do next to Daya Thorne, who's back on her back on her feet now? Okay, um, I want to back her up into a corner, um, mm-hmm. and then. Pull her out for a hip toss. All right, so you got to get into a corner and throw in a hip toss. That's good. Yep. Uh, give us a work roll on that, please. Seven. Yeah, seven, and that's a one. So, yeah, you, you get it. Uh, going to give you a bit of momentum for that as well. So, going to out-wrestle her for a little bit. So, she mm-hmm. shrieks uh, in pain because uh, you're going to find out she's not a very good wrestler. And she's, like, yes. woefully underprepared for the boyfriend's hip toss. Name again? Uh, what, sorry, what, what's the boyfriend's name again? Uh, Damon. 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 Damon, yeah. And her name is D- okay, and Dalia. Okay. Dalia, yeah. Damon, oh my God, she's after smacking me so hard in the face. I cannot believe this. <laughs> Why won't you do something to help me? <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, boy. Am I glad I don't have to voice her in promos anymore? So, um. <laughs> I wish I was asleep again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so, um, so yeah, you've hit her with a hip toss. Uh, continue on. You're still in control. Okay. Um, Right, then I want to get into an armbar. See, she's given out so much. Armbar, nice. Okay, we'll give you a work roll on that. Why is this so painful? Oh my Six. gosh. Six. Uh, with the plus one, you get her in the armbar. So yeah, you're in, you're locked in. Um, so you're talking and talking, uh, but she scrambles for the rope like almost immediately. She's just like, she's, she's all limbs, basically. You she just broke my arms. <laughs> this is so you- unfair. It's I was a... not told I would have to do this. This is so unfair. This was false advertisement for the job I provided for. I'm only meant to be running social media. Damon, do something. <laughs> so yeah, she's she's chatting away in the ring. She's screaming to Damon, who's like, <laughs> okay, well, don't I worry. Step back. Don't worry. I want to make her to come discuss to me. it with the referee. Right, oh my okay. god, I want Damon to get into the ring. I want Damon in the ring to try and talk to the ref to be like, make this stop. Tell her to lie down. Okay? Sonny, 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 Sonny. Tell Violet just to lie down, okay? Tell Violet, this is so unfair. Darling, uh, there's not exactly Is he no. up on the ring? You need to just lie her not down. Not yet. No, he's, 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 he's there on the side. He is. Oh, I he's have on the up. You have him up for the apron. Okay, he's, right. a, he's, a, like, he's, he's tall enough, like, in a sense that like, he's talking up to Sonny, but Sonny's not giving him any shit. Like, Sonny's yeah. kind of, like, ignoring him at this point and being like, shut up. And then he will kind of stand up on the apron while the two of them are bitching and moaning. Okay, so we'll, we'll work that in. So yeah, you you invite um, uh, Dolly to come to come towards you, but Damon takes his chance to try and like distract the referee. So now Damon's on the apron, distract the referee, and Dolly is just there, clutching the arm. So I'll leave this to you, Dem. What do you want to do next? Um, I want to base last line and take his legs out. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Um, I'm going to give you a look roll on that because that's a pretty flashy thing to do. Seven. 
seven. So yeah, you make it work. So um, it's going to look pretty neat actually because the referee is on one side and you're just going to like take like as if he's on one side of Damon, you're going to slide on the other side. So you'll mm-hmm. do you'll take down the shin and he just goes <laughs> on the fucking apron. He's gone. So yeah. um, Dahlia is oh still my like. God, Damon, you're... <laughs> Oh my god, he's gonna break his nose. Damon now just runs off. All right, he's gonna have to get a fucking pack <laughs> face. His face. Yeah, oh, he's gone. Photo shoot after the match. This is atrocious. What am I going to? What am I going to do? What am I And he's gone. <laughs> now it's just Dahlia and Violet. Um. So yeah, I that's that. Work like four different characters at the same time. So I need to move them away. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. So yeah. So Damon goes off. He's like, you, you've done a number, and he's neutralized now, right? So you can slide back into the ring, but uh, Dahlia takes advantage of this and starts stomping on you. And so everyone's booing, going like, no, no, you're you're shit, and all this other stuff. So I'll roll on her behalf. See what Your she does next. Your boyfriend's pissed, and so are you. Your boyfriend's <laughs> pissed, and so are you. <laughs> Very good, very good. So yeah, she keeps coming. She's just doing like very generic kind of like stomps and smashes and all that. Referee tells her to get to get back, to get back and think summer. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, um, next summer. Yeah. So then she's uh she's going to come back at you again then with uh, a knee strike and she hits you with that and she's going to try and pin you because that's literally the only two moves you can do. So Kira, give us a roll there. Oh, yeah. Early going in for the picks. I have now seen followed One. by Damon. Roll again, Kira. <laughs> and you kick no, out a two. Yeah, two. nice, nice easy and kick out a two. Two for one. So yeah, uh, so she kicks out and she starts remonstrating with the referee because again, not quite familiar with the rules. So that this gives you a chance. <laughs> Who even is she? Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? Like, I do she only has, like, she only has 400. Yeah, well, she's giving us a referee now. shit then. This is what Okay. This is what semi-tag teams do, apparently. I'm sensing a feud in my future. Chekhov's gone there. Taking the leaf out of your book. Mm, absolutely. Uh, so yeah, talk us through the spot again there. So she's uh, she's for her. <laughs> she's got her back to me. And she's remonstrating with the ref. I'm gonna take advantage and try and pin her. So I'm a schoolboy. Oh, schoolboy. Okay. Uh, give us a roll on that then. Uh, a, ro- a work roll with that, please. Eight. A- an eight. Yeah. You hook her in with a nine. So let's see if she breaks out. Uh, yeah, she breaks out a two. Um, you nearly got her. Nearly got her with the schoolboy. Um, but she's get back but you're still going to be in control anyway so uh, talk us through your next next bit okay um, well she's giving out about oh how much God. it hurts so I want to get her to figure four. Oh, figure four okay wow you're, you're, you're loving this mm. so um, so yeah you've got to work her on that then please so lock her so lock her in let's see how it goes no not well four a four so with the one obviously it's a five so uh, you're going to try and lock her into the figure four, but she's going to wriggle out and cling into the ropes. Um, so she's clinging onto the ropes. You can't get her Dahlia at that point. Dahlia is scrambling to the ropes here. As Firestorm attempts to go for the figure four, Dahlia has scrambled here like a rat in fear. Yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll say rat in fear. From a- is, that a, is that a phrase? Is that- yeah. She's on the rope. Just go back to the ring. Go back to the ring. I am not ready for the animal facts. Don't, don't look at me. An animal man. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, yeah. So, she's... Clean out the ropes I'm now. Completely fuck this one. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, she's clinging out the ropes. Uh, what do you want to do next? Okay, um, I want to grab her from the ropes and try and suplex her. Suplex her, yeah. Grant, give us a work roll on that, please. Three. Three with a four. So she's going to reverse the suplex and she's going to hit you with a DDT, which okay. uh, which is, is is fair enough. So she's got advantage here now. God, that's uh, probably the best thing we've ever seen Dahlia do when he hits a DDT. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So yeah, she's um she's got she hasn't got much offense, so <laughs> she hasn't got much wrestling technique. So what she's gonna do, she's gonna just take your head and start like hitting it, like proper like cat fight nonsense. Referee's gonna separate you again. So uh you got separation one more oh, time. Thank goodness, even Selena, the cat pile would be disgusted with this display from Dahlia. 
this is just degrading to cats everywhere. And cat fighting. <laughs> a sport of champions. The sporting of champions, which is now just being denounced by this despicable display. <laughs> Absolutely. I couldn't say it better myself. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Kira, uh, I'll leave you get your control again. So, you've got separation. Um, what do you want to do next? I want to run at our um, spear. Ooh, spear, nice, nice. Uh, give us a look roll on that, please. Uh, you're on three momentum, by the way. Just, just be clear. Eleven. Uh, Eleven, nice, nice and snug. So you, you fucking wallop her with the spear, right? There's no mm-hmm. denying that. Uh, and I'm going to give you a uh, extra momentum for that as well. <clears throat> I'm going to give you note audience as well because actually it does a nice critical roll. So yep, yeah, you're, you're on plus two, plus two audience. The crowd loved that. You got momentum, so. Carry on then. What do I do next? Um, so she's a bit dazed from that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I want to try and hit the hit uh, my mount soft. So for the gale force. You're gonna go for the gale force, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, we're gonna give that a look roll as well. So give us a roll. Let's see how it goes. A nine. A nine. You're gonna hit it. You're gonna hit your finisher, uh, and it looks good. You gain some momentum that as well. So uh, let's see if. Uh, you're obviously going to go for the pin, naturally. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's see if Dahlia breaks out of it. Okay, so uh, you get one, you get two, and then suddenly you're yanked out from behind by fucking Damon Garrick. And he's got like a little ice pack on his nose. He's got, he's back out and he just starts fucking hitting you. He just starts going for you. throws you into the fucking steel steps. So Nibaloni calls to the DQ. Ooh. Simple as that. Ooh. He's... He's fucked up your match. Uh, but your winner by disqualification is Violet Storm. Um, but it's really second secondary at this point. Like Damon's kind of got you going here. So uh, uh let's see what we do. So yeah, he's uh he's constantly he's just keeps going at you, and then Dahlia comes out then because she's still a little bit woozy from the moonsault, and then she uh hits you with the stairs as well. So he just keeps like hitting you basically like with the with arms and legs and all shit like that. So the leave they basically the two of you leave leave you in a bit of a mess. But you're okay. Like their offense is fairly light. You're not in fucking you're not a fucking James Rage or anything to so your grand. So you're okay. <laughs> right? It's it's an angle. Everyone calm down. Okay. So uh, the two of them leave everyone boos uh, and then you get the sympathetic applause then at the end. So you still win the match. You still get your your heat in a sense. Uh, and we'll we'll see next week what happens. So there you have it. Anyway, you got um, an audience out of that. You got nice uh, nice spare momentum as well. So you know a, a good good day in the office, as we said. So uh, with that in mind, then we uh, cut back then to uh, to an office, which happens to be mine. Uh, so I'm on the phone talking to somebody. You know, completely unrelated uh, question. Yeah, yeah. When can he? So he's good to go, is he? Cool. Yeah. No, we'll, we'll sort out his hotel. It's fine. Yeah, I know he's a big deal. That's why I'm doing it. So we get a knock at the door then at this point going, yeah, door's open. Yeah, you're saying? And then comes uh, Silver Fox. Yeah, so I I thought I was going for... No, if he wants to do that, that's fine. Yeah, come on. Come in, come in, come in. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Grand. Bye. Yeah, I can help you. What was with last week? Why why have Alan Moore with me? What's the problem? I don't. I don't see what the issue is. No, but like, why? Like, you see, you see what he's doing. Like, I'm trying to have a serious match, and he's there, like, flapping his wings, going caca, caca. Look, like, mate, <laughs> I don't know if I have to show you what demographics is, but at the moment, he's out selling you in shirts and in everything else. So, for me, it's a business decision. He's helping you out here, pal. You realize, you realize, you were like your segment was the highest viewed last week. Do you know why? It certainly wasn't for your wrestling ability, pal. I like it, but it's not about that. Okay, let's be honest here. So, with that, as you as you digest that, uh, we see uh, somebody kind of walk in. The, some of the door, door door gets knocked again. He goes, "Yeah, door's open." So we see a little fella kind of come in with a clipboard and. Uh, um, Mr. Decker, Mr. Decker, so there's your tea, tea. Oh, silver, man, fox, silver fox, there's your coffee. Uh, sorry, silver fox, could you pick a number between one and five for me, please? Three. three. Three, very good. Times two, times two. Thank you. That, that'd be all, gentlemen. Thank you. Enjoy your time. Yeah, cheers, lad. Thanks. He's one of the new runners. Uh, he started he last week. Four. I think he won't come. What? what is he 
He's new. He's new. He's just trying to impress. Don't mind him. Don't mind him. So yeah. Um, so what are we talking about again? Oh yeah. So you were saying you're saying you don't want anything to do with Alan Moore. That is this is what I'm getting from this conversation. Yeah. What? Like I don't. At the moment, I don't see what the point is of having him with me. Right. So when you say that, so when you say that, something comes up here from on camera. Some sort of human-sized fly just buzzes in, going me, and just sticks himself to the wall. It's like, okay, I see. You're, look, I see you already have a problem with this. Okay, I see that you have an issue with this. But look, dude, I'm sorry to break it to you, but did you you do know who you have up next, right? Your match is next. I don't know why you keep bragging with me. No, I'm just a scrubble. That's what I am. That's all. I don't yeah. see why why yeah. I should be fair with him. I don't want to be roped into this hokey comedy shit. Me. Hold on. I have a request. Dahlia Black. Sounds like a sex bot. No one. Anyway. <laughs> Look, I have a match, as as you have so helpfully booked. So mm-hmm. I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna wrestle. Right. Uh, actually, actually, Fox, before you go, okay, what? there's been a bit of a mix-up, okay? Um, we had a cancellation earlier on. I know you're meant to fight uh, another guy, but he's at the cancel. So I've had to rejig your match a bit into a tag team match, okay? Look, don't blame me. Don't shoot the messenger here, okay? The guy was flying in from Germany. He couldn't make it. The flights were cancelled. Heavy snow. You know how it goes. So the fly then meh, hits your shoulder. So there's a human-sized fly on your shoulder. Meh. Me and he's rubbing his legs on your neck like this. <laughs> so I've got you in a human. I got you in a tag match. Okay, got you in a tag match. And um, again, bit awkward because Adam Morph's opponent last today cancelled as well. So you two better get to the ring. Mate, you, you're on, Matt. You're on, pal. That's your music. Come on, let's go. Let's get out there. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I almost got him booked on a show. I cannot believe we almost had him booked. <sighs> so, <laughs> Jesus. So, so Foxy, give us a roll there on your promo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, got, uh, a seven a seven so you get some moment you get you, that that works you gotta you got some momentum from that as well so you start off with momentum uh jerry be a deer and roll on your promo as well i'll do give me one second <laughs> we're able to recover <laughs> <laughs> that was just too brilliant i'm sorry i got a 10 you got a 10 perfect so everyone loved it <laughs> Everyone loved it. You're, uh, you get some Be momentum. I'm just gonna... Sorry. Even no, for... if he rolled a fucking three, he was still going to be getting bloody momentum from the reaction <laughs> from the crowd here. Yeah, so, in fairness. In fairness. I mean... You're not, you're not wrong there. But uh, but the benefit of that, because it was a nice high roll and you've got a plus one look, uh, you gained some audience from that as well. So you're on plus two audience already going into your match. So, as uh, Mr. Decker mm, suggested there... Scary. This next contest is a tag team match and it's scheduled for one fall. Whoa. So this music's been playing for a little while as the promo ended. So, Foxy, you're um you're a little bit late to the ring. But uh talk us yeah. to your entrance. So because like I'm a bit late, I'm I'm kinda like half like looking back on the uh, mm. just, yeah. Not in my behind space, I'm so, like in a bit mm-hmm. closer. Uh, walking down the ring, keep looking back, dead in the ring, and it's just like, bring them on. Come on. Because mm-hmm. I know what's coming. Yeah, of course. So, <laughs> as the uh, so the music has kicked in just as it fizzles out there, but um, but as uh, as you're, you're there, kind of looking over your shoulder, so you're looking for the fly. Where's the fly gone? You know, and so it's like, where is where's he gone? But then, as you're looking around, <laughs> as you're looking around, you see something scurry into the ring. There's something weird, like something black and white. Jerry, talk us through it. As I, 
and they screw you along the ring. People are look. I'm only I'm screwing, but I'm a bit lopsided. Mm-hmm. People don't notice, but as I as I get to the apron, I get up, stand up. I have two hedgehogs in my hand, Sonic and Shadow. <laughs> If you remember back, children of the 90s, animals of fat and wood, yes, they never made it past the road. Oh, I why are you doing this to me, Jerry? Back. Don't, Jerry, no, no, no. I don't want to cry today. These these hedgehogs did not did not call up. These ones made it across the road. Oh, you, got a, you, got, you got a badger. Let's do this. So we're going Late. to the green, get to the second rope and kind of hold them up together. Comfortably, like Rafiki and Simba. Fucking Lion King style. Ladies and gentlemen. And his tag and gentlemen. team partner, weighing in at 240 pounds, oh, Alan Morph. <laughs> Can't believe this, ladies and gentlemen. This is those moments where you do not believe your dreams truly do come true. As a child, I wish those pe- those hedgehogs did not roll up into a ball as they tried to cross the new freeway. The badger has saved the hedgehogs, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know about you, but this man deserves a round of applause. <laughs> Indeed. So, Foxy, you have now been greeted to your tag team partner. You cannot just start a slow clap by yourself. I've learned <laughs> that yeah. very, very quickly. Yeah. On your own. <laughs> Silver Fox does look very, very agitated. However, the crowd is going mild. No, my, wild, not mild. Wild, sorry, wild. wild. <laughs> for the badger, for the badger in the ring at the moment. And all I have to say is I cannot wait to see what Alan Morph pulls out of his bag next. And of course, mm. and there is Silver Fox as well, but no one really cares. <laughs> <laughs> Silver Fox is indeed also there. <laughs> and then, alas, it's time for his and their opponents. Oh shit, yeah, it's Ratman and Bobbin. Weighing in at a combined weight of 444 pounds, the heroes that we deserve, Ratman and Bobbin. So. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you understand, but it has actually been nearly a year and a half since we last seen Ratman in Bobbin in an Irish, pre- wait, no, not Premier League, in an Irish promotion. Reason being was due to a possible arrest that was made due to a misunderstanding between Ratman and Bobbin. Indeed, indeed. Well said. Here they come. Conga line down to the ring they are just loving life they're loving their release the cats out of the bad bag they're like the cats who got the cream i can't think of any rat puns i don't think <laughs> there is any to be honest with you mikey what? are oh. you loving the show we have tonight well, why are you like... ignoring me <laughs> stop ignoring me mikey we're here in this together <laughs> i so, did yes. not mean to sleep with your wife I didn't sleep with your wife okay i apologized put put down the fist put down the fist don't 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 anyway um Did so we... moving on from that um <laughs> so yes rat man and bobbin if you are not acquainted one is a very tall man dressed somewhat as a rat and the other one is a, a very short man with uh a floating with inflatables on his arms and on his waist because he can't swim therefore he's bobbin and um, so the two of them walk down, they're striding away. Everyone, the crowd is going like, Oh, yeah, I remember them. Fuck, it's been a long time. Oh, they're good, they're, they're funny. And, every, and then you have like, I thought they were dead. I could have yeah. said he's dead. So you've got adults explaining to their children about like how funny these people are. Trust us on this one, that sort of shit. Uh, and they just make it to the ring. So, uh, Foxy, Alan, give us a roll. Let's see who starts off the match. Very, very exciting. Can't wait to see if hedgehogs do get into the okay. match. All so right, so we have an aid. So Alan's going to start off the match. Oh. So, so I like to think here that like Alan Morph is still on the second turnbuckle holding up the two hedgehogs. <laughs> right, and then Foxy's just going like fuck this, and he just he goes to the turnbuckle himself. He's done. He's not having this. So, <clears throat> Ratman and Bobbin have a little uh, rock paper scissors to decide who goes first, and it's going to be Bobbin. 
So it's Bobbin uh, versus Alan Morph to start off. So, Alan, talk us through what you're currently Bobbin on the second term versus buckle. Badger. <laughs> holding, holding two hedgehogs. Talk us through what you do next. I kind of, I turn around, really matches that, and mm-hmm. they kind of scamper down. I hold the hedgehogs to Foxy. <laughs> Foxy's look is, <laughs> that is an uh, indication as to what Silver Fox has just done. <laughs> <laughs> I think for safety reasons, I think I myself will actually just go and take the hedgehogs as I'm afraid they might get thrown into the crowd or Silver Fox may actually kill one of them. <laughs> it's tempting so yeah uh, Kratos goes from the commentary table taps uh, Foxy on the shin there and uh, nice little pass That's over a hedgehog <laughs> <laughs> there you go the hedgehogs have officially been saved <laughs> god isn't it great that Amy has a plushie for literally every other animal it's great it really comes in handy um, so yes Alan you're starting off the match then we get to lemur <laughs> all in good time but there's plenty of animals to go around so uh, Jerry yeah talk us through it talk us through the side of your match I go for a lock up and immediately mm-hmm. power him back into his own corner into his own corner nice okay that's a power roll it's his own corner, yeah. yeah it's a minus two Jerry so let's see if it works for you can't get over how cute these hedgehogs truly are it's a really nine it's a nine Ooh. so no, nice roll, seven. yeah. You, it's a seven, so that works. So you power, you power Bobbin back into the into the corner. Ratman's gonna tag himself in, so he's got the weight, the height advantage, not the weight advantage, because Bobbin is very very fat. Yep. So you will, um, so you're gonna, so Ratman now takes this, takes the takes the tag instead. So what do you want to do here? Lock lock over him, go behind for a waist lock, and then mm-hmm. wrestle him to the ground. Ooh, a bit of working going on. Then, yeah. Then, yeah, go on ahead, sorry. Yeah, then I scoot around and get him in a headlock. And then right. I look to Foxy and nod, like, thumbs up. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Okay, that's a that's a work roll, so give us something on that. <laughs> give us a roll on that. <laughs> a seven. A seven? So, yeah, you make it work. You, 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 you out-wrestle Ratman, who, like, again, he's, he's very gangly, so you have a little Bobby. bit of, like... Uh, no, Ratman's tagged in, so he's uh, so Ratman's okay. kind of got has come in. So you yeah, out wrestle him, you take him to the ground, and you got like a front face lock on him, and you give the thumbs up to Foxy. Uh, Foxy, are you impressed with uh, the wrestling abilities of a badger? No. So far, this badger has done nothing but impress, and the audience is going wild. Silver Fox, however, still looks slightly agitated over the fact that Kyle Decker is making him tag with the badger. It is a bit of a throwback to a previous tag team that Kyle Decker was in. However, that's for a different date. <laughs> anyway, um, so I can so, I can hear Kyle Decker screaming profanities into my headset as we speak. <laughs> I might have stepped over a line as he said that. Apparently, not only stepping over a line with your wife, Mikey. <laughs> <Six days. laughs> Uh, for the confirming I, I the fell. Kratos, uh, I just fell. <laughs> I just fell into her. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Alan, please tell us what happens next in this match. So I take him up to a standing position, still in the headlock, mm-hmm. and I give him a noogie. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. That's a luck move. Uh actually no, that's a that's a serious, horrible maneuver. I'm gonna that's a real that's a that's a that noogie is serious oh my business. God. So Could kill give us a plus Christ. one reel, I think. On my character sheet. Yeah, you do. You have a plus one reel. So give us a give us a work on that. Give us a roll on that. Sorry. Jesus Christ! This is a vicious, vicious. Eight. This is not a. This is not a European badger. This An eight. Is a, this yeah. is a bloody honey badger. <laughs> so you give him the nuggie. It works. You gain some momentum from that. So you're on three momentum. Uh, so what do you do after the nuggie? I take it to a corner and I hold out my hand for a tag from Foxy. Ooh. Okay. So Foxy. We'll leave the initiative to you. Are you going to take it? He tags in. Silver Fox Fox has begrudgingly tagged into the match. However, Mm. I mean, realistically, he should probably want this. Now he can keep the badger on the apron. Indeed. But can he he keep him locked up is another question. So, Foxy, uh, you are now in with the Rap Man. Uh, What are you going to do next? (laughs) 
you really cannot avoid animals at all, can you? <laughs> we have the, the human cork, the silver fox, the rat and the badger all in the same ring. My God, this is what a time to be alive. What a point to the animals. Yes. <laughs> if only David Bellamy Silver was Fox, allowed to see this moment. <laughs> anyway. I think Silver Fox should change his name to Dr. Doolittle, I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good line. I like that. I, I really love that line. I'm going to give uh, Foxy a plus one audience for that. <laughs> you put him over. That was good. <laughs> so, Foxy, give us a, give us, talk us through then. What are you going to do with the Ratman, who has been uh, neutralized by that nuggie? Because Alan still has him in the, the nuggy as I tag in, mm-hmm. uh, I'm gonna step in. I'm look. I'm picking my spot, and I'm gonna take a, a kidney punch. Uh, to is a rap man. Rap man, yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, I'll give him right. a kidney punch. Mm-hmm. Then I'm gonna grab him in a wa- uh, waist lock, and I'm gonna try and uh, launch him over for a German. Interesting. Okay, so. Uh... All right, so we're gonna. I'll do two rolls for that, right? So the first one's for the kidney punch, and the second one's for the German suplex. So, give us a real roll on the kidney punch first, and then a work roll on the German. Uh, eight. Eight. So yeah, you you you, you hit him in the kidney. So you've taken control of the Silver grapple. Then Fox is and... not holding back with a vicious ki- hit shot to the kidneys. There, Ratman is starting to feel it. Oh my god, what's he going for next? And a ten. Ooh. And a nice crisp Ooh. German suplex. So yeah, and two a success. Beautiful German suplex. Indeed, indeed. Silver so Silver Fox here now showing he is the wrestler that is in this match. He is not taken down by this comedy trope that has been thrown against him. He is proving a fact now to this audience and to Kyle Decker. He is a force to be reckoned with. Indeed, Alan Morph indeed. has checked on the, the hedgehogs. Don't worry, Alan. They're fine. I have them. <laughs> <laughs> I have them and they're very very happy so yeah two successful spots you get plus two momentum from that so you're on four so after the, the German he's uh, lying down face up so I'm going to set up for a big knee drop mm-hmm. into uh, so knee drop then elbow drop and then I go for a line salt for the combo alright so you're going a bit for a combo so yeah uh, let's do Christ. Three rolls on that. So one reel and then two works, please. Actually, sorry, let's scratch that. We're going to go for a reel, a work, and a look. That's your combo. So reel, work, look. Let's see if you can play, pull this off. So five for the... So you five, five for the knee drive. So Ratman's going to dodge your, your, your knee drop, basically, and he's going to take control of you. So he's yeah. quite gangly, so he's just going to lift you up on a shoulder and hit you with a, with a, with a power slam. But again, there's not much weight behind it. He's a rat, you know, I'm just saying. Um, so he hits you with a power slam. And then let's see what happens next. Uh, so then he's going to throw you into their corner and he's going to tag in Bobbin. Bobbin's going to hit you with a few uh, shoulders to the gut. So he's going to keep hitting and hitting and hitting. Uh, and then he's going to throw you into the center of the ring. Uh, and he's going to go for a big belly flop. But I'm going to give you a chance to dodge out of it. So what would you like to do with that dodge? So he's come for... For a big splash, so hmm. if I dodge it, I want to be able to get up quick enough that I can come back for a, a drop kick to the head. Drop kick to the head, the yeah. Okay, cool. You can do that. Uh, give us a uh, work roll on that, please. Wish you have plus one. Ten. A 10, yep, dead on. And that's an 11. So, yeah, you gain your momentum, you gain an audience for it. So, they really love the dodge. They really love the way you've moved out of the way as well. So, you're on plus three audience. Nicely done. So, uh, yeah, talk us through then. Oh, what do you want to do next? Box. I hit the drop kick that, that puts him down. Uh, I'm going to go for the knee drop on, on Bobbin this time. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I hit the knee drop, then I am going to. Uh, <coughs> Find him in a triangle. Triangle, okay. Interesting. Okay, Bobby tell you what. Left looking like a beached whale after that assault there from the silver fox as he flails in the middle of the ring. <laughs> he's somewhat turtling, you could say. Uh, but so he's, Foxy, he's on his front. I, I wanted to, but he was oh, on his front, front, hence why I went, hence oh, yes. why I went for a beached whale. Gotcha, gotcha. I see you now. Uh, yeah, Foxy, give us two uh, real rolls on that, please. Eight. 
Eight. So the first one works. You gave momentum. Carry on. So I hit the hit the knee drop on him. Then this one. Nine. A nine. So yeah, you 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 get him into the triangle choke. So you've got some momentum now. You're on seven momentum now. So uh, talk us through the triangle choke. Rapman's gonna come in. Uh, so as Rapman as Rapman's gonna come in, you got a choice. You either uh, deal with Rapman or you give the initiative to Alan Morph. What do you want to do? I'll give the initiative to Alan Morph. All right. So, Jerry, uh, you're in play now. So, Ratman is coming into the ring. He's going to try and interfere with uh, Foxy's triangle choke. So, what are you going to do here? I'm going to jump over Foxy, over the triangle choke, and just jump on Ratman. Yeah. The guy coming in. Mm-hmm. Jump yeah, on yeah. Ratman, like, throw him into the corner. Nice, nice. Okay. And then so, I'm going to boss him outside the ring. Love it, love it. So, the two of you got outside the ring, is it? Yeah. Nice. Okay, so give us a uh, real wor- wor- uh, roll on that, please. Nine. Nine. So, yeah, you make it work. It's a ten. So, you get some momentum from that as well. So, now you two are in the ring, and uh, Foxy and uh, Bobbin are in the ring. So, despite that neat little uh, segment, uh, ooh, wow, Bobbin uh, reverses the triangle holes. So, he's, he's fucking burst out of it. Like, he's cracked out of it. Uh, and he's got uh, control here. That's what happens when you get a critical success. Um <laughs> And uh, he's going to hit you with a clothesline, Foxy. So uh, we'll switch back to then to Jerry at the at the ringside. So uh, Alan currently is uh, squabbling with um, with Ratman. So Jerry, what do you want to do next? I want to throw Ratman into the <clears throat> steps. Mm-hmm. Good, good. Uh, yeah, and give us a... Give him a few stomps. Have a few stomps. Give us a real roll on that, please. Nine. Nine, nine, very nice. So that's a ten. So nice momentum from that as well. So uh, meanwhile, back into the ring. Then so Bobbin has hit uh, Foxy with a clothesline, and uh, ooh, Snake Eyes. So he's gonna well miss the next move. He's actually gonna botch this. So he's gonna go for a. Uh, <clears throat> he's gonna go for a. What can he botch? Uh, he's gonna go for a head scissors. He's gonna go for head scissors, but he's huge. So he's gonna like lift you up, and he's gonna try and go for like he's trying to vault onto your shoulders here. But he's going to completely fuck it. He's going to fumble everything, and it, the the match kind of like falls to pieces a bit. But Foxy, you're going to take control of the situation. What do you want to do? So he's fucked up a head so, scissors. Okay, so if he's going for the head scissors, well, uh, because he's he's heavy, mm. I want to because I'm the more agile. I'm going to cartwheel over. Yeah. And yeah, do a ricochet on him, and then fucking, uh, I'll probably, I'll probably. Uh, Cartwheel out, then mm-hmm. a fucking basement drop kick, sent him to the outside, set up for a fucking dive on both of them. Ooh, interesting. Okay, uh, yeah, we'll roll first on the uh, on the work part to get it to kind of like to get us back into into the swing of things with the with uh, after the botch. So go for it. So first one is a six. It's a six. The plus one, yeah, you get away with it, so you get a seven. Uh, no momentum from it though, but you've got plenty. So then, yeah, so you're going to try and time out the ring with Rapman. Um, and yeah. so Alan Morph is, is is around this area as well. So what is what is Alan Morph doing at the moment, Jer? Well, I, Alan Morph will see uh, uh, Rapman has gone out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pick up Bobbin because you know what I'm going for. Okay. Like, I have an idea. So, so either okay. way, it can work out. If I miss it, I hit Alan. If not, I hit hit the two boys. Oh, I like it. I like it. Double Jeopardy, Foxy. Um, exactly. Give you the options. Yeah. Jerry, have you got this? Are, are, yeah, are you yeah, happy I with that? Yeah. Okay. So, Foxy, yeah. if it's greater than, if it's seven or greater, you hit the spot. Top base. I want to say that to everybody. If it's lower than seven, though, you hit Alan Morph. Well, I'm hitting the two boys. Oh, very nice. So, yeah, Yay! you hit it. <clears throat> You did a dive. You even get some uh, momentum for that as well. So nicely done, lads. Nicely done. So, uh, so Foxy, you've wiped Crow out the two. It's going mild right now. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind, Fire Fox. We have Flying Fox. Ah, oh, love it, love it, love it. So, uh, Jerry, I'll give you uh, initiative here. What do you, what do you want to do next? I help Foxy up to make sure he's okay after the dive. Mm-hmm. Then we grab the legal man and ch- chuck him into the ring. So the two of you uh, help work together to do that. Yeah, that's fine. So the two of you uh, throw uh, what would be Bobbin in. So Bobbin's into the ring and Foxy, back to you. 
So obviously, like, uh, he helps me up. We throw him in. So we're both going to go in. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to try and send him up. I'm going to call for, like, a 3D just to get, like, a tag team maneuver in there. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Right. Uh, Jerry, are you happy with that? I'm happy with that. Like, All right. So here's the thing there, right? I'm going to get both of you to roll, and both your rolls have to be successful to make this work. So oh, go for it. What's up? Yes. <laughs> oh, thank Christ. That's a seven. Jerry? Six. It's a six. Oh, okay. So, yes. Foxy, so Foxy, you're going to call for it, right? You're going to call for the 3D and you're going to try and... You're, so you're going to try and get Alamorph to do it, right? So yeah. Alamorph is going to try and do the hard part, which is to lift him up and you can do the, the, the as it were, the Devon's part. But uh, Alamorph can't lift up Bob and he can't do it. So you just crash and burn into Alamorph instead. It's it, You just hit him from the back by accident and the crowd goes, no, why? Because your momentum takes, a, takes you into him. Um, so it's a bit of a kerfuffle, but you're back in control. You've got Bob in the ring. What do you want to do? So he couldn't lift him up, but he's still on the ground, is it? As I uh, so you've hit him, and Alan's gonna roll just out of the ring for the time being. Okay, so I um, I hit him. If I can, uh, I'm I'm looking out because I uh, seeing that he rolls out and knows that he's messed up. Mm. So I basically, proving my point of why I don't want to be in a tag, I don't want to be waiting for. Mm -hmm. But then I'm trying to focus on the match, so therefore, like, I'm calling for the finish. So I'm going to go for my uh, pump handle uh, screwdriver. Yes, which we have called the silver lining because I don't think we we, we officially know that. Do we? Are we calling it silver lining or are we calling it rain of chaos? It was like a conscience, but yeah. we could do silver silver lining. Okay. Silver lining. Okay, so you're going to hit the silver lining. Um, do you want to spend any momentum before the roll, or are you happy to? Uh... You have eight momentum at the moment. Uh, I'll be happy where I am at the moment. All right, so, so it's going to be straight roll then. Go for it. Yes. So you're going to hit the silver lining, okay? So it's a nice, clean, crisp as you get it. So let's see if Bobbin kicks out. Uh, one, two. Oh, and Ratman comes in at the death to break up the count. So... You were right to save our momentum. So, uh, let's see then. So, Foxy and Jerry, give us a roll, please. Let's see who gets initiative here. Seven. Seven? seven. Oh, you both get seven. This is very exciting. Okay. So, uh, let's see what spots better. So, Jerry, tell us what you'd like to do here. So, you've been just like, you bumped out of the ring, uh, obviously by accident from Silver Fox. What do you want to do here? I look up and see Ratman in the ring as well. So mm -hmm. my initial thing is to go in, take care of Ratman for, for Foxy. All right, all right. And Foxy, what about yourself? Uh, so Ratman's after breaking up the pin. So I'm going to try and go after Ratman. Uh, try to throw a few strikes just to defend myself. Mm -hmm. uh, if I get the upper hand, I'm going to try and... Uh, I'm going to try and feed him to the corner so I can lay in a few shots and <laughs> then settle for a Irish whip to the other, to a hard buckle on the other side. All right. All right. So, uh, yeah, let's let's do that then. So, uh, so Jerry, you're going to slide into the ring. You're going to go towards Alan Morph. But at that time, Foxy has got to him and start, is starting to wail on, um, on Ratman and has whipped him into the corner. So yeah. the two of these are in the ring here. Bobbin's been isolated for the time being. He's kind of like he's out, he's out of play here. Um, but he's still in Bob the ring. Bob's legal man, though, isn't he? He is legal man, yes. So the two of you have five seconds to do... you got to do your spot, and then Alan Morf has to leave the ring. So what is your spot between the two of you to do on that, man? So, uh, as I said, feed him into the, the corner. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll probably send him in. So it won't be a hard buckle. I'll send him into the corner. Then I'll grab Alan Morf and I'll send him into him so he can get a like a strike or a charge on, onto him. Yeah. All right, and in that case, then Jerry, if you're happy with that, what would you like to do then with that with that Irish whip? After I want to splash, but uh, Batman in the corner, 
Yeah. And as he stays striking and I'll grab him and hit him with a belly to back suplex. Nice, nice. nice. Okay. So we're gonna do a uh, we're gonna do a power roll on Silver Fox, right? And then if that's successful, I get your minus one on power, by the way, Foxy. So uh, you're gonna Irish whip that, and if that's successful, Jerry, we'll do the same thing for you. Then you'll do a, a power roll on the belly to belly, which is a uh, minus two. So uh, he's got momentum here. Feel free to spend it if you want this spot to work. So go for it. Don't need to. Got a seven. Got a seven. That'll do the trick. Well, it's a six actually. So you're gonna you're gonna tuck, you're gonna pull, you're gonna pull, and and you get him eventually. So Alan kind of helps you out here a little bit. He kind of makes you look a little bit like weak for a bit, and then you'll just go, oh, and then he'll start running. So you'll charge, he'll do his like his bump thing, and uh, then the belly suplex. So Jerry, roll to see if the suplex works. It's a seven. It's a seven, nice. which is a five, which is a five because he has got a minus two oh. power. So uh, yeah, he's gonna try the belly to back suplex, but Ratman's going to reverse, going to like let gonna keep the hold. He's not he's not gonna leave leave the ground basically, which uh, gives uh, Foxy a chance here. So they're both grappled here. So what do you want to do? Um, well they're both grappled. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just drop kick them in whoever whoever's back is toward me, which I'm would just be Alamar. Drop kick them. Okay. Yeah. Good. To, uh, yeah, to, I like that. Yeah. I like that. That's a. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go for a look on that one because it's a. It's a pretty like nice little visual there. So give us a, a look roll, which is minus one. Six. A six with the five. So my. So minus yeah. one. I tell you what I'll do. I'll let you away with that because I accidentally uh, uh, knocked off your power because I thought I mixed with your power and look. So I'm gonna let you away with this spot anyway because it was my fault there earlier on. Um, so yeah, you gotta do. You gotta drop kick Alan, and he'll like launch it to both of them into the turnbuckle. And obviously, Rockman's gonna take the brunt of it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Foxy, yeah. I'll give you control again here. Carry on. Uh, he's out, like, and uh, Rockman's out. So now I start. I turn my attention back up to Bobbin, who's like starting to come back. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna because he's still woozy. I'm gonna like. I'm gonna set set him up as if I'm going for the, the silver lining again. Because mm -hmm. it's pulled him away for so long. So I yeah. think a second one might do Might do the trick. Okay. So, uh, yep. Yeah, give us a roll then. Right on. Yeah. Nice. Critical. Uh, yeah. A nine. A nine. That'll do the trick. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, yep. Yeah, you hit it nice and flush. And let's see. This is pretty academic. One, two, three. Ring the bell. You're ready. You're, ladies and gentlemen, you're winning team. Silver Fox. And Alan Moore. So there you have it then. So, uh, Foxy, you've won that. You've won that match. Well done, Alan Moore. Uh, certainly got the assist. So, talk us through. Is there any afters going on between the two of you? So, uh, obviously, like I haven't forgotten the, the blown spot earlier in the match, but I think it he got his receipt. And yeah. So therefore, I'm trying it on neutral terms with. I'm not angry with, but I'm not, I'm not the light one. All right. All right. So and I'm just looking at him and it's like, I might give him a, a little nod. And just, okay. And then I'll go. All right. All right. And how about yourself, Alan? And um, so you, you're kind of slid back into the ring here after the drop kick, and you've won the match. So you've been announced by the winners, referees as winner. So talk us through it. Uh, I just looked at Foxy and I just kind of give him a little bit of uh, a he did uh, get that extra bit more to get some victories in there. But I didn't mm. put my weight as a tag team partner, so I'm a bit down on that, but I just nodded, I was like, we won. Alright, And then good. Like a little thumbs up. N nice little thumbs up. So the badger and the fox get on, that's great. So yeah, that's great. And the two of you just leave, happy out. So a nice little, nice little respect spot there at the yes, end, so that's good. I like the animals of... Just, just, just like the animals of Fardingwood, the badger and the fox have keeping up this partnership as they exit the ring. Alan Moore, <laughs> if you forgot your hedgehogs, please come back before my day. <laughs> Throws one at my face again, please. Very good, very good. Uh, so yeah, we move on then to our next match, which is scheduled for one fall. One fall. Introducing to the <laughs> introducing to the ring first.
Weighing in at 381 pounds from parts unknown, he is the instrument of salvation, Cutter. All right, Dennis, talk to the entrance. So, uh, Pastor Fred Rose is first out, um, leading with an arrogant swagger about him, followed closely by Cutter, who, as always, has the black face paint on that one eye blank out, mm -hmm. and nearing, uh, followed along with this monstrous identity. Pastor Fred Rose goes up the stairs, gets his ring first, as Cutter steps over the top. Indeed, indeed. So, as uh, as the music plays out, then uh, Pastor Fred Rose takes the takes the microphone off the ring announcer, the anonymous ring announcer, who's too boring to name. I have to say, for once in my life, I am actually speechless. I know I've criticized the people here for many, many weeks. But I didn't realize that somebody would be foolish enough to accept my challenge. Such an, an obvious honey trap for anyone to fall into. And yet, the most gullible of them all thinks he's the most violent. How fitting. How appropriate that he is the one to answer the challenge. Mr. James Rage, I'm sure you're listening backstage. I'm sure you're warming up right now listening to this. But no, just one thing. You may have made an impression against lowly little men like Connor Locke and Calpir Calvella, but you are up against the monster, not a man. And I would like to assure to you right now that he will prove that once and for all. In fact, I'll let him speak on my behalf for a change. So he takes the mic and everyone's going like, ooh, I've never heard Cutter talk before. What the fuck's going on here? So Cutter, go for it. Week after week, I come out here and I'm thrown nobodies. I decimate them. I destroy them all to make my mark. And week after week, I'm ignored. Carl Decker sits in his office and refuses to acknowledge my presence. He refuses to acknowledge me in any way. He won't put me into the main event, but it's because he knows the truth. He knows if I get my hands on that title, he knows it's never leaving me. And James Rage, the psychopath, self-proclaimed, you're facing a monster. And make no mistake, I'm the instrument of salvation. And I will save you, whether you like it or not. So as you're about to continue on, we hear the music of James Rage, and everyone's going, whoa, that, it's happening, it's got to kick off. So, lo and behold, James Rage comes out. He's in his little, he's in his gear, he's ready to go. But he's also got a microphone. It's, let's see what James Rage has to say for himself. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up there, Connor. I need to address a few things here first. First of all, you put out your open challenge. You say you want anyone from the Fatal 4-Way to come out here and face you. Fine, I'll do it. I'll do it because none of my opponents will. Take a look around. Cyrus Gold is here picking my scraps from last week. Silver Fox seems to have got himself a pest control problem. And Selena, Selena is still way too focused on everything she has done. She does not see the challenge that is in front of her. But tonight, okay, I was asleep. tonight it's you. Tonight it's you, Cotter. And you want to come out here and you want to tell your fairy tale nursery rhymes, that's just fine. Let's talk a little Old Testament, shall we? You see, once upon a time, there was a guy and he was the biggest, meanest, nastiest man around. And his name was Goliath. And for many, many years, he stomped around. And he had his way 
and he called his shots. And you know what? They called him a monster too. But then one day, his mouth wrote a check that his ass couldn't cash. And he went to sleep. So Cotter, I am here to show that you are not a monster. You are nothing but a man. A freaky large man, but a man nonetheless. And I will show you when I get in that ring that he's every man needs to breathe. So Fred, I suggest you leave the ringside area because just like Samuel Beckett, I'm about to take your giant to school. So before before you finish that, then Fred Rose goes, how? how Ooh, I like that last line. What the hell makes you think you can quote scripture to me, son? I have studied that good book, but page after page after page for 35 years. You do not get to quote scripture at me. So I'll tell you this, the reason why your opponents didn't come down here to address is because they are far smarter than you, knucklehead, because you didn't read the fine print of that open challenge. If Cutter wins this match, he takes your spot in the fatal four-way elimination match. You signed the contract. The bell's about to ring. Oh, God, you've, just, you've just driven yourself into a cul-de-sac, son. And at the end is a six foot ten monster. It's about to rip your head off. Ring that damn bell. So the bell rings. Jane Drake Jane, pushes Jane. in. Before we go, let's roll on the promos. So, uh, Cutter, you roll first. You have a zero look. So let's see how you get on with that. Okay. Uh, that's a 10. That's a 10. So, that yeah, one? yeah, that is solid. Nicely done. So, you get some audience with that and some momentum. So, you're on two momentum. You're on two momentum and two audience. Jamie, let's see how you rolled. Can't see it there with the brightness. 10. 10 as well. Wow, Jesus. Well, wow, we're all flying today. So, Ooh. same again. Two audience, two momentum. So, you're, you both of are going in hot here, lads. So, uh, Let's see how you go. So James, you're gonna rush. You're gonna enter the ring. Cutter's already you're in, in the ring. Fred Rose leaves, and the bell rings. So both his roll. Let's see who gets the initiative. Oh shit! That's a three. That's a well. It's a seven for Jamie. So Jamie takes control here. <laughs> <laughs> Cutter's reputation oh, wow. continues. <laughs> wow, oh. this is. Like My God, that, this, this match, these two, mo- these two monsters are off to a swimming start and Cutter has just tripped on the ring rope <laughs> and James Rage is now taking. <laughs> I haven't seen a trip like this since Batista returned to the ring at our WrestleMania. I can't remember which one it was. All I know is I fell asleep during it. Fred Rose <laughs> is quite pissed. Fred Rose is quite agitated sitting, standing next to me at... Uh, at, at, at commentary and I already asked him to, if I could do confession just to appease Mikey Day Mike Dublin but apparently I'm not forgiven just yet his wife dinner. has however invited me over for dinner <laughs> <laughs> silver linings all around so Jamie you're going to take control of this match starting off cool. is, where is Fred Rose? Fred Rose he's is uh, commentary. yeah he's at ringside yeah okay. Cutters in the ring Make sure I do that. And then I'm going to start by just throwing kicks at his knee. Ooh, we're going to target the knee. Away his vertical base. All right, very good, very good. Uh, let's roll on real for that, if you don't mind, which is a zero. Uh, that's a seven. Okay. Yep, yeah, that works. So you're going to target the knee. Uh, continue on there. You're in control. Okay, so several flurry of kicks. I'm going to follow it up with a chop block to the side of the knee. I'm just going to drop the shoulder into it. Nice, so nice. Basically, take him down. Yep, good stuff. We're gonna treat it as a work Ray roll. He's a vicious, vicious wrestler. So that's a seven. So yeah, you you do get the chop block. So you get cut down to one knee at this point. So continue on. Okay, I shoot myself. Well, I, I take off against the ropes and come back with a shining wizard. I did sound like that, I it, I, I wasn't sure Apologies. if it was just me or, or if, if it caught, but I was like, why are you shitting yourself? You're fucking in control here, mate. <laughs> <laughs> 
he knows how much of a serious competitor Cutter is and doesn't want to waste his opportunity. The excitement seems to be getting, the excitement has gotten to James Rage and the smell is making <laughs> its way towards commentary. He's, <laughs> uh, I'm just about the only person in this company who shouldn't be doing that. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. He's doing what we know and the business as a Gary Lineker. So, um, so yeah. Can you roll? <laughs> so, uh, so Jamie, can you roll on a reel, please, which is a straight yeah. roll? And that's a knife. You're going to take him down with a shining wizard. Nicely done. You get some momentum for that as well. So, all good? James Rage, are you on? To a shitting wizard. <laughs> shitting. <laughs> change the name to a shitting wizard. That comes later. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, so Jamie, uh, continue on. You're going to still be in control here. You've taken down Cutter. So what do you want to do down. next? Cool. I am going to start dropping elbows on his knee. I'm going to pick okay. up two legs so I can drop. Oh yeah, I, I, I like that. I like that. So yeah, give us a work on that, please. A twelve. Okay. So what you're going to do with that is that's a that's a good spot. So you're going to get some. Uh, you're going to get plus two momentum for that. By the way, Ooh. so you're on five momentum. And what you're going to do is that's obviously a critical success. So uh, I suppose the best thing to do would be that you actually do start injuring the knee of Cutter. So you you focus on the knee, it's working, some damage has been done. So uh, continue on, you're still in control. Okay, I am going to drag him by the injured knee to the corner, slide out under the bottom rope and wrap his knee around the ring post. All right, all right. Yeah, give us another straight roll for that, please, which is zero. James Rage is not holding back eight. in this match. And, and eight. I'm starting to think that maybe... Fred should not have spoken as highly of his client as he has, because right now, none of us are impressed. No, it, it doesn't seem that way. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, so you've got Cutter wrapped around the ring post. Uh, you've got the you've got him tied up there. You're talking, you're talking. The referee tells you to, to knock it off. Um, so you get your count, and obviously you, you presumably break it four. Yep. Um, so, yeah, you've got separation then. And, uh, yeah, talk, talk us through that. What do you want to do next? Oh, I'm definitely walking after Fred Rose. Ooh, well, you're going to go for Fred Rose. Okay. If the uh, monster is indisposed for a second, I am sh- fucking talking smack to that prick. I love it. I love it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Give us a roll on that. Give us a straight roll. Seven. Seven? So, yeah. you. Well, first of all, you see Fred Rose. You see where he is. And mm-hmm. you kind of, you're, you've cornered him. So, he's like there at the kind of at the commentator's table. Uh, and he's kind of like I'd like to ask you now Fred to fuck off because I do not need to have two (laughs) angry ass men attacking me in one day so if you mind just leave leave sir leave so Uh, so I've been choked to protect please leave (laughs) Uh, so so Fred is cornered here so James I'll give you control here what do you want to do to to pour all Fred Rose I was going to attack him I was just backing him the fuck off but (laughs) if the opportunity's there (laughs) Um, <laughs> grab him by the back of the neck and run him into the ring post that Cotter is presumably now freeing himself from. Ooh, okay. Uh, give us a power roll on that, which is a plus one. Oh. A three. All right. So, so you... Squealing, squealing like a pig. It's like deliverance all over again. I really <laughs> hope it doesn't have the same ending. <laughs> this is a PG show, I'm assuming, and the, I don't PG think the, the audience will get that, but, but the, the parents surely will get, go get a laugh out of that comment. Yeah, indeed, indeed. So, uh, so yeah, yeah you're yeah. going to corner Fred Rose, you're going to grab him by his, like, paste, pastel white uh, um, lapels, he's going to scream and screech and do all the stuff, but, unfortunately, you get hit from behind by Cutter. Cutter's going to break it all up, and uh, Cutter's going to take control of this match, so Cutter... Go ahead. What do you want to do to James Rage? You're limping, of course, because your knee has been rather damaged. So, uh, I want to grab him by the head and smash him face first into the ring post. Nice. Uh, yeah, give us a power on that, which is two. You're a plus two on that. Wrestling has clearly been thrown the window as these men are just eleven. To hurt each other. <laughs> okay, so that's a critical. So you're going to get an audience on that. So what you're going to do is you're going to just going to grab him and hurl him head first, like fucking javelin into the fucking ring post. And uh, as would often be the case, uh, James Rage, you are busted wide open. You have been cut uh, by the cutter. 
appropriately. So you've you've been cracked. You've been you've been cracked hard way. This is fucking nasty stuff here. So you're gushing. Uh, Cutter, continue on. You've got uh, an audience from that and one momentum. So you're a three yeah. and uh, plus uh, your momentum. I want to pick him up. I want to roll him into the ring and kind of start raining down forearms and punches to his jaw. You certainly can. Uh, I'm going to ask for a real roll on that, which is a minus two. Oh, so, shit. So, yeah. Fuck, I forgot. Oh! 12, baby. <laughs> 12, okay. So, with that, <laughs> that becomes a 10. So, yeah, you gain some momentum. That You're wet and you're opening up that cut there on his head. So, keep going. Continue on. Uh, okay. Um, so, uh, I... Want to take a oh, okay, so I've been beating him and I want to pick him up, mm -hmm. uh, both hands on an egg. I want to one arm over, I want to urinage just a big old slam into the mat. Oh, a, like a big Samoa Joe, fuck off, isn't it? Like just that, fuck exactly. off, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right. right, give us a power roll on that. Okay, seven, seven with the two gives you a nine. So yeah, you uh, you get it. You've got plus one momentum as well. Your Nagy hits. James Rage is on the ground. Continue on. Okay. Um, I'm just, I'm full of anger at this point. I want to uh, pick him up again by the throat. I want to throw him into, feed him into the corner. And mm -hmm. I'm just going to charge him. Just a big old body splash. Body splash. Okay. Give us a look roll on that, which is a zero. So the straight roll for you. Okay. Uh, it's an eight. It's an eight. So you do hit it. You do hit the splash. And um, you get some momentum for that as well. So you're on six momentum. Uh, so you hit the splash. What do you do next? Um, okay. So I've hit the splash. He, I'm presuming he kind of crumples out. Yeah, he crumples out. So, yeah. um, okay. So uh, I'm going to look out at Pastor Fred Rose, who's obviously angry too. He's encouraging me to keep mm -hmm. going. Um, I want to pick him up. I want to go for a big choke slam. Choke slam. Okay. I'm just. Yep. I'm, I'm looking to just destroy him with as much power moves as I possibly can and wear will wear him down. Indeed, indeed. Uh, yeah. So give us a power roll on that then. So you're gonna go for a choke slam. Yeah. Oh. Nine. Nine. So yeah, that's a nice and snug fucking choke slam. Up, down, bam. So nicely done, and another bit of momentum as well. So. Uh, I'm going to keep you in control here. Continue on. Okay, and I want to go again for that jaw. I want to break his jaw. All right, all right. To, I want to start raining down punches vicious as I can right mm. down onto him again. All right, then. Um, teach him a lesson. <laughs> teach him a lesson. All right, then. So, yeah, we're going to treat this. It's going to be a real roll, and it's also going to be working stiff. So if it works... You might get a bonus on it, but let's see what happens first. So you're gonna—it's a minus two on real. I re uh, fuck. Okay. So fuck. yeah. So. <laughs> right. So yeah, go for it. Ten. Ten, which is an eight. So you uh, do hit it. You do hit the strikes, all right. Now you're not gonna injure him or anything like that, but you're gonna just keep control, uh, and you're gonna get a bit of momentum from that. So you, yeah. So you know, unfortunately, you're not low. He's again. He's been busted open here. He's been hurt enough, like, but he's still. Like, not his first rodeo. He's fine. He's like, he's he's happy with this. Yeah, this is, yeah, yeah. This is fucking breakfast to him. Like, so, uh, yeah. Continue. <laughs> so, I'm I'm gonna keep you in control for the moment, Cutter. So, give us another another, another moment there and we'll see how you get on. Okay. So, um, at this point, he's bloodied. He's lying on the ground. Um, is it an option to throw him out and maybe try and? Uh, get the ref's attention, let Pastor Fred get a couple of kicks in. Is that the thing I can do? Or is that you can, a... no, no, you can certainly try it. You can try it, you can try him out of the ring and let Pastor do his business if you want. And I will treat that as a straight roll because it's a nice spot. So go for it. Okay. Six. A six. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna try and throw him out, but James Rage is gonna like grab onto the ropes and he's gonna kick you back. So a uh, bit of a separation. Uh James is gonna give you back control. So you've been bloodied and battered at this point. Um, you look worse for wear, but I'm sure you feel absolutely delighted at this. So, what do you want to do next? Ever closer to snapping. <laughs> um, what do I want to do next? Uh, throw a kick at the injured knee. 
to stop the onslaught. Mm-hmm. And if I can follow up with a heart punch. Ooh. All right. Uh, so we're going to give you uh, two real rolls in that, which, is, which are straight rolls for you. You've got six momentum okay. as well. So uh, eight. eight. Yeah. So the first one successful. You kicked the knee out and then like this is for the head punch. Six. Heart six. Punch. Head punch. Yeah. So no, heart, uh, punch. heart punch. Oh, heart punch. Sorry. Yeah, we're burn. going off speaker here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you're gonna go. You're gonna hit him with. You're gonna hit him with the head punch, heart punch, all right. But it's not gonna have much of an effect, right? So he's. You're gonna hit him back, but okay. like, what the fuck, man? What was that all about? So then Cutter is gonna take advantage here. You get get a reversal in. So what do you want to do after the heart punch? Um. So okay. So he's hit the heart punch. Is there, there's a bit of separation there. I'm presuming is there? Yes. Okay. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. So. Uh, Bit of separation. I just want to throw a couple of just straight punches and then take off the ropes and just try go for a big old clothesline. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, give us a work roll on that, please, which is minus one. Okay. Seven. Seven, which is a six. So you're going to get your few punches in. As you run the ropes, James is going to dodge the clothesline. You're going to come back on the other ropes. So James, you have a chance to reverse him coming back at you now. So he's coming off the ropes. What do you want to do? Drop to hold to the injured knee. Dr. Hold, yeah. Um, give us a work roll on that, which is uh, zero for you. Straight roll. Five. A five. So you're going to try to go for the toe hold, but Cutter's going to like grab you. So Cutter, you're back in control again here. So um, you're going to grab so him? He's, okay, so he's on He's on the ground. I've got his leg. Yeah. So um, I, I just want to I wanna drop a big knee on, onto his leg, onto his knee. Just a bit, you know. Still stealing my shit. Actually, no, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, no, hold on. I have an injured leg. Can I, uh, so I drop an elbow instead. Elbow, okay, yeah, elbow's fine. Uh, give us a work roll on that, which is minus one. Oh, fuck me. Snake eyes? Snake eyes. Right, so you're going to botch the elbow. Um, <laughs> so, snake eyes, it's not going to go well. Um, you're going to try and, like, hit the elbow, but you're going to slip. And like look down and lose your you, you lose complete control like of this situation. So you fucked up the elbow, you fucked up everything. His knee gave way. He gave his knee, gave way. Yep, yeah, good, good cover. Yes, yeah, so let's go with that. It's definitely that not a bunch. Better, thank you. That does sound a lot better, doesn't it? Yes, very consistent with the story. Um, so yeah, uh, James, you're gonna take advantage of this, of course, because you're in a fucking scrap here. So what do you want to do next? Yep. Dive on the knee and just start laying into it with elbows. Okay, that's. I'm gonna give you a real roll on that. So straight, straight roll again. That's a nine. Yeah, oh. no, that works. Yeah. So you, you, you're, you're still working over the knee here. Carry on. Hmm. Bear with me. So you got choices here now because he's on the ground. You got and you, 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 you're out there wailing on his knee there a little bit. So. You've, you have incapacitated for us. Oh, no, wait. Just moment. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm now going to turn my attention to his jaw. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's see. Can you go three for three? We're going to go working stiff, a real roll. Can okay. you injure Cutter? Yeah. And, and I would, at this point, one of my moves is my Shrek training and it's plus one to real. Can I add that now? You can indeed. You absolutely can. You can add this reel. So yeah, it's going to be a plus one roll to this. Let's see if you can injure Cutter. It's an eight. It's a nine. So you're not going to injure him as such, but you are going to gain some momentum from it. So you're going to go for the you're going to go for the elbow. You hit him. It's pre-struck, but it's not a, a physical injury. So it's not like Cal Peer or Conlock. You haven't broken the bastard. So. Um, but you have got your, your, you have got your damage in, and that was really well done. So yeah, you, you continue control of the match. Continue on. Great. We'll continue raining down. <laughs> all right, all right. Give us another roll. Let's see what happens. <laughs> and it's an eleven. So yeah, there you have it. Second time's the charm. So uh, I'm going to give you a uh, plus two momentum for that. So you're on eleven momentum. And um, Cutter, by the way, you're on eight. So yeah, this is a, a fucking hot match at the minute. And you're gonna gain heat with Cutter as well for that for that spot. So yeah, you're gonna you're gonna hit him pretty nasty with that. And I found the different. Yeah, so we're gonna mark that as an injury for Cutter as well. So it's not necessarily the same as like the the bruised jaw, but it is gonna be like a 
a, a, a wound, let's say. It's going to be visible. Yeah. So perhaps like Calp here had like the, kind of like a teeth wound or whatever it is. So that's going to be a due mark on Cutter. But it's minor. It'll it'll heal up eventually. So uh, yeah, so the referee's going to check on Cutter here, make sure he's okay. So there's a bit of separation. And uh, Cutter's <clears throat> going to get back to his feet, make sure he's fine. Referee thinks, Are you okay? You okay? Right, continue on. So yeah. both of you, give us a straight, give us a roll here. Three. Three. And Dennis, what was yours? Nine. Okay. So, uh, Cutter, you're going to take control of this now at this point. So, James has left, Jamie has left a mark on you here, right? He's after kicking you with his, with his trademark elbow to the jaw. And um, it's visible. It's obvious that he's after bruising you. So, what do you want to do here? Um, so, uh, the, the ref is checking. I want to give a smile to him. Mm -hmm. um, to, to James, a little nod and a smile. And I want to just take out and I want to try hit him with a big boot. Big boot. Just okay. One in. Uh, Boom. <clears throat> All right. We're going to give you a look roll on that, uh, which okay. is straight. Straight roll. Six. A six. So it's a straight roll. So you're going to go for the big boot. James is going to dodge it. So, Jamie, you're back in control. Okay. Um, I, which leg were you throwing the boot with? My right. So is that that's not the hard one. Which one is the hard one? I don't think we, ever, we didn't really establish. We, we never, we never said <laughs> it. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Storytelling, ladies and gentlemen. Let's presume the hard one is planted and yeah. throw with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. In that case, I duck under and chop block from behind on the injured one. From the from from behind, right? Okay, yeah. Uh, give us a worker on that, which is straight. Which is 10. Nicely done. That's nice and snug. So Cutter's down on the ground again, clutching his knee. It's fucked. Like, it's just, he's, he's, you can actually hear him in pain now. He's actually quite in a lot of discomfort, um, which says a lot about you, considering that you're gushing blood still. Um, but carry on anyway. Um, <laughs> so, James, you're still in control here. Um, at this point, I'm going to put my, my left foot across the back of his knee. Mm -hmm. and then kind of <laughs> drop down beside him, lifting his leg up into a house of pain. Ah, okay. You're going to go for submission. Interesting. Um, okay, I'm going to give that a power, which is a plus one to you. So let's see if that works. It's a seven. So you're going to hook him into a house of pain. Yeah, it's a, it's a nine. Sorry. Yeah. So you're going to hook him into a house of pain here. Um, so yeah, you're hooked in. So... Uh, Let's see now. So, Jamie, let's give a, give yourself a roll there to see how effective that is. So you're kind of having in. You're obviously torquing the knee. Uh, it's a yeah. seven. So yeah, it's it's okay. It's get edible. So, uh, Cutter, can you beat a seven? Ten. A ten. So yeah, you're gonna you're gonna power out of it after a few seconds. So uh, it it was a, it was worth a shot. You have done some damage, but Cutter breaks out of it and Cutter's back in control of the match. So continue on, Cutter. Okay. So, um. Is, uh, sorry, I'm trying to wonder where I am now after breaking out of it. Has it just kind of fallen apart under separation or? The separation, yeah. Yeah, okay. exactly. So you have right. a chance here to basically nick it. Right. So um, I want to just a big kick to the midsection. I want to try to get him up. No, no, I don't want to try to get him up because my leg is fucked. Mm. Um, uh, do you know what? I want to. I want to. I want to just take off, duck under, Ooh. and I want to get him behind for a big German suplex and just get him over me. German suplex. Okay. Give us a work roll on that, which is minus one. Ten. Ten. So nine. Yeah. So you hit the German suplex nice and crisp. Gain some momentum from that. So just in remind your momentum, by the way, James, you're on 13. Uh, as Cutter, you're on nine. So yeah, you're... <laughs> Someone's going for a big finish here. I don't know who. But anyway, so Cutter, continue on here. I can't wait to see what James does. He's going to roll a fucking one. He's going to roll a one and be like, you know what, fuck it, all the momentum. Just throw it all on there. I'm cashing in. <laughs> right. Um, do you know what? I'm fucked. After the suplex, I want to get up behind them. And I want to try and lock in the cat Hajime. I, I want to go for it. I want to just try all and right. choke him out. Interesting. You're going to go for the cat Hajime. Give us a straight roll on that, please. Yes. Ten. Ten. So you're going to lock it in. You're locking in the cat Hajime. So 
Uh, give us another roll cutter, please. Nine. Nine. Okay, James. Can you beat a nine? He can beat Bring a nine. You've got two <laughs> <different adventures. laughs> He can beat a nine. So after a while, so you lock in the catch at the May, but like James Rage is going to break out of it. So uh, talk us through, James. How, which way do you want to break this? Do you want to kind of wriggle out of it? Do you want to power out of it? What do you want to do? His jaw is still all jacked up, yeah? Yeah, a little bit. It's bruised, yeah. Connected. yeah. Okay, so if that arms up, I just shoot punch him in the jaw <laughs> to get him to let go. Like, yeah, love it. I love it. Um, all right, yeah, we'll go with that. We're going to call. We're going to treat that as working stiff again. So um, it's going to be a real roll, which is going to be plus one because you have that stat boost. Um, give us a roll Ooh. on that. It's critical. Oh, <laughs> that's critical. Wow. Okay, so you fucking spark him out. You knock out Cutter. He's out. You got him fucking straight flush with the, oh, with the punch. Right? Now, it's not... Now, the, match is still, the match is still going on. You just... Well, He's, he's out, like, he, you, you sparked him out, like, okay. you're, you're working stiff, what do you expect, like, so you gained audience from that, and now you're on 15 momentum. Okay. The match is still going on, by so... the way. <laughs> you could literally do a without having to roll on this one. You could literally just, right, I'm just going to put my finisher on him. There's my momentum. Yeah. At 15, Max is fucking 12. I'm pretty sure, Cutter, I don't think you're getting a title shot, mate. <laughs> Fred West fucking led you to a fucking Fred alliance. Rose. Oh, Fred yeah. West Whatever. was a serial killer. <laughs> That's who it was. That's who it was. Yeah. I think John West and the team. <laughs> you don't want to get those two mixed up, John <laughs> West and Fred West. Holy shit. You don't want to eat fucking Fred West salmon. <laughs> yeah, fucking hell. Okay. Uh... <laughs> James, what yes. would you like to do? You've just knocked out Cutter. Whether intentional or unintentional. Do you want to finish the match? Do you, want to, do you want to just keep going? Do you want to just beat him to death? Okay. That's the time. Go for it, damn it. Even I'm rooting for you. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I was in just 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 to recap events. I was in his submission. He had me locked in. I was punched him in the jaw. He went down. I rubbed my head, see the blood, spaz the fuck Go out, do the full Ken Shamrock snapping. Walk over, hook in the guillotine, and put all of my momentum behind it. You're spending 50 momentum on that roll, yeah? Okay. Um, let's see how you get on. Um, no, no, hang on. I'm going to spend <laughs> 10. 10, okay. You want to keep some in reserve. That's smart. That's smart. Oh, my I God. I fucking hope he rolls like a 12 or a 10 anyway. Just he rolled like, a 10. Yeah, it's a 20. Dead. Right. Oh, so. <laughs> You know, an eight. So it's, it's an 18. Yeah. It's academic color for fuck's sake, right? So one. Sorry, yeah, two. Cora, at this point, you may as well have just been like, I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I still think you're knocked out from the punch. So one, yeah, two, three. You're out, Cutter, man. You've you've been knocked out. For for future rep, just so I know, because I'm not actually sure the full use of momentum, like and yeah. how it works and stuff. Um can only be used when you're on the attack. It can't be used in defense. Only on the attack, yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. No, no, yeah, no. So, I just honestly, I, I yeah. wasn't sure. That's okay. No, the way I don't it works think is. Any it's... Sure to be <laughs> the way, the way it, it works is. It wasn't for that. It was for so I know later on, you know. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Oh, yeah. What, so what, oh you yeah. mean, sorry, when you're no longer dead in the middle of a ring? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, when you're ladies, in another ladies match. Ladies and gentlemen. You know? <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my goodness. James Rage has won this match, but. Oh my God, the cutter has been cut down like a redwood in a forest. Ladies and gentlemen, when a redwood falls in the forest and no one's around, you do hear it scream. And I think we're hearing Fred Rose scream on the inside, at least, because he hasn't come <laughs> back to commentary because I'm pretty sure he did crap himself at some point. Indeed. Someone indeed. did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could say that. That was that was pretty academic, that was. Uh, great match, lads. Well done. Um, so James Rage... You continue to be in the uh, fatal four way, and you've knocked Silver Fox. <laughs> you've knocked off Silver Fox off the perch as top of the cards, as well. Ooh. So uh, sorry, um, Selena Kyle is watching. Selena Kyle is standing at an angle, watching from backstage, being like, Does "Anybody want my my title shot? Does anybody, anybody <laughs> want to take my place in the title shot match? <laughs> anybody? I'm open to offers. Anybody?" <laughs> Why are y'all running away? 
<laughs> so James, uh, give us your afters here. What's happening at the end of this match? Hold it on until the referee's like, no, really, get off him or I'm reversing the decision. Get up Amazing. and then just shout at Fred West to come collect his money. Fred Rose! <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that's my fault. I'm so sorry. It's in there now. <laughs> that's what happens, ooh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. It's in the patio. One thing, one thing. If I could grab a mic <laughs> and just say... There was only ever one monster in this match, and he was not wearing makeup. Here, for, here. James, James, at this point, you may as well just fucking spit on him as well while you're at it. Because I mean, <laughs> oh, don't worry, I'm coming for everyone. <laughs> at, at this point, at, here, like realistically, I mean, your your blood like flowing freely. I'm, I'm still imagining from both of you saying at this point, you may as well just kind of get a glob of it and just go and just walk away. At this point, I like Selena's already in the back, been like trying to fucking shill this title shot on somebody. Even Big Sven is going, no. Fuck this. <laughs> I am out. <laughs> I'm out of here. I won't be back. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, good stuff, lads. Yeah. That was a very enjoyable match. But we still have one more match to go. After that fucking blood fest, the okay. ring's getting cleared up a little bit. Holy shit. Hotel California is playing the background <laughs> oh as he changed God. the canvas. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this next contest is scheduled is your main event, and it's scheduled for one fall. One fall. Introducing to the ring first. <laughs> Weighing in at 189 pounds from Gotham City, Selena. Amy, talk us through your entrance. I'm doing a little head bob, like listening to my music, and I just do my usual run to the ring and slide in underneath the bottom rope. So yeah. while I'm, as I got, kind of get into the rope, I'm still on my knees, just doing like my little head bang. Yeah. Nice Looking at the hedgehogs that are sitting at the commentary desk because they have no idea what the fuck is going on. <laughs> In fairness, yeah, they have had quite a day, haven't they? Quite a day. So, so there you have it. That's your entrance. And introducing her opponent. From Kobe, Japan, weighing in at 210 pounds. He is the Dragon Slayer, Kazero. So, uh, Kazero has his uh, pretty bombastic Japanese entrance. He waits for the music to swell up, walks out. He's in the Dragon Slayer gear, as we ascertained in the first episode. He basically nicked it off the guy he retired, Dragon Santos. Comes out wearing, holding his mask on his hand. Uh, does the whole like kind of weird like you know looking at it eye contact stuff throws it away and then kind of poses looks around to the crowd and he does like kind of a signature like look at me pose kind of like arms out like this and um, and then just like kind of just like one angry shout at you in Japanese and that's his uh, his entrance as a whole so with that being said the bell rings and Celia you and me are gonna roll uh, let's see who gets initiative here Nine. Nine. So, yeah, <clears throat> you're going to take control of this match starting off because uh, I ro roll a five. So, uh, talk us through it. How are you going to start off? Going in for a test of strength. Start off, two of us. All right. All right. Uh, yeah. Going to get the okay. upper hand and get him into a wrist. So, from behind. So, we'll start from behind. <clears throat> okay. So, let's uh, let's take that. Let's, let's take two rolls there. Uh, all your stats are zero. So, they're all going to be straight rolls. So, start off with the uh, test yeah. of strength first. Okay. Nine. Nine. So yeah, yeah, you, you have you have some sort of uh, advantage over him. So roll again then for the for the wrestling. Okay, for the wrist lock, seven. Seven. So yeah, no, you have him in the wrist lock then. So uh, continue on then. You're in control. Um, so have him <clears> in the wrist lock on this side here, and then I'm just going to sh gonna give him a little bit of the 
kick to the back of the knee to get him down. Mm -hmm. So he's then on one knee on this one as I'm basically kind of just going for the, I'm going to try and see if I can get him down for a bit of mat wrestling on it, basically. All right, good. Yeah, give us a roll on that then. Ooh, six. A six. Okay, so what he's going to do is he's going to kick out of it and uh, he's going to run the ropes and hit you with a crossbody. Let's see if he makes it work. He does. So he hits you with a crossbody to uh, to to sort you out there. So he hits you with a crossbody. He's going to continue on then. <clears throat> he's going to get you into a grapple and he's going to go for a uh, belly to back suplex, which he hits. So he hits you with a crossbody and a suplex at this point then. So he's going to go for a quick pin. Um, which is not great. So uh, you have a chance to break out of this. He's, so you can kick out if you want to. Obviously, it's not a great pin, so you can kick out straight away. Um, yeah, so uh, I, yeah. I, I think I'm going to kick out. <laughs> um, kick and I'm out, going yeah. to go basically. So I'm, yeah. So I have the kick out here, but I've gone and I've literally gone for like a head kick on this one. So while I'm back, I've kicked up to the side of the head, mm-hmm. kind of get yeah. him off me. Good, good. Yeah, go for it. Uh, give us a roll on that. Do I need to roll on that. Yeah, you can roll on the head kick, yeah. Yeah, and no, I'm waiting. Sorry for my internet to connect. <laughs> it's fine. So, As an eight, yeah, so you hit him with that. Um, ten, so The ten. Yeah, the ten, yeah. yeah. So you hit him with the head kick, so he's dazed, so continue yeah. on. Um, I'm going to try and get this one finished very quickly on this one because I don't want to be around the blood-soaked ring. <laughs> so I'm going to go for... <laughs> I'm going to go, I'm not going to go top rope. I'm going to go for Brett's rope and I'm going to go for uh, an elbow. Ooh, you're going to go for an elbow from Brett's rope. Interesting. Right, give us I'm a roll on that. For the, the, the most dangerous rope. I've got mm-hmm. a nine on that. A nine? So you hit the elbow. Go. Nicely done. So you gain some momentum. That You're on yeah. four momentum. Hit so the far. elbow and I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to go for a quick pin. Leg up. Quick pin, yeah. Okay, well, let's see if that works. You get a one. You get a two. Holy shit. He kicks out a two. Kicks out a two. I might get out the bus. Um, okay, so I'm going to go, I'm going to take a page out of James Rage's book on this one. And I'm going to keep on a def- I'm going to keep on the defense and I'm just going to go for the knee on this one here so i'm actually just gonna i'm not gonna go for the head though because that's mm. just that's too much even for me so i'm gonna go for like the the body shot the knee body shots to try and weaken them a bit more all right go for that give us a roll on that another 10 another 10 so nicely done you're you're working over the body because zero is just not in the fight at the moment so yeah you you still got control here carry on jet lag <laughs> um, grand okay so uh Going for this, and at this point now, I'm going to go. I'm actually, I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to go fly, fly down on this one again. So I'm going to drag him into the center of the ring a bit, like actually have him into the center of the ring. Mm-hmm. Going for the top, and I'm going to go for the moonsault off the top rope. Go for a moonsault. All right. Go for it. Let's see if it works. Nine. A nine, you hit the moonsault. Nicely done. Everyone liked that as well. So uh, nicely snug. Um, you're in control. Continue on. I'm going to go for another pin again. Going to go for another pin. All right. So you have to hit the moonsault. One, two, because zero kicks out. So you still haven't put them away. Um, continue on. You're still in control of the match. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do there is... Do, 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 do. I'm not going to do that. Um, hmm, I haven't won the dunes. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to stick with my 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 breath heart run on this one, and I'm fucking setting them up for a sharpshooter. I'm getting Ooh, frustrated now. I like it. I like it. Um, yeah, give us a roll on that. Okay. <laughs> Nine. A nine, yeah, you hit, you have him in a sharpshooter. So, uh, give us a roll of that there, please, to see how good the submission is. If a, oh, I don't want you to see my messages. It's a ten. It's a ten. All right, nice and snug. So, can Kazero be the ten? No, he cannot. He's uh, he's in the sharpshooter. He's in deep, but middle of the ring, middle of the ring. He's crawling towards the rope. So, uh, you have one more roll for Kazero. Let's see if he does. 
it's not great. He's only rolling sevens here at the minute. So, uh, Amy, you're in control of the sharpshooter. Um, he's kind of crawled towards the rope here, closer and closer. So, uh, give us another roll there to see if you can get it back to the center of the ring. Yeah, I want to I want to pull him back into the center of the ring, and if I can get him back into the ring, I'm going to bridge myself to put a lot more leverage on it. Nice. Okay. Um, Ten yep. again. Ten again. So you you've got the leverage here now. So it's in deep. It's pretty fucking nasty looking for him. Um, but he is going to power out of it. Um, he's got the bridge. He's just going to fucking like force him, like a proper force him out of it. Um, so the sharpshooter is broken up, but you've got some damage on him. You've got some momentum up for it. So that's good. Um, so Kazir is going to take control here momentarily. Um, he's still, his back's not great, like in fairness, after the sharpshooter. And he's going to go for a, he's gonna go for a brain buster. And he's going to hit it. He's going to hit it fucking nice and snug. Um, so the brain buster hits. He's going to go for a pin. Uh, Amy, uh, give us a roll there to see if you break out. That's an eight. So you have one. Two, kick out of two. Um, so, Amy, you're back in control again, then. Um, both of us are standing. Oh, yeah, obviously. Both mm-hmm. both yeah. Are standing on this one. Um, so I'm going to go run the ropes, and I'm going to hit him with my bulldog again. A running bulldog. bulldog. Yep. Yeah. Carry on, then. <laughs> Sorry, it keeps restarting. <laughs> Have some tender hooks here. Nine. A nine. So you hit the bulldog. Nicely done. The, the internet is so bloody slow. Um, <laughs> it's, it's I, good, it, it, the, I don't know if it, I don't know if it's giving me a good moment or if it's just we feel bad for you for dropping you out of the Zoom call so many times. <laughs> um, I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm going to go for. Uh, I've already done. Fucking Jesus Christ! I've been on the top rope a fair bit already this match, but I have mm. a point to prove because motherfucker called me out. And um, so I'm going back to the top rope again. I'm gonna go for the <laughs> my ever powerful frog, frog splash. All right, I have momentum, for... don't I? You do have plenty of momentum, yeah. Um, can I use power momentum? How much momentum do I have? You have nine momentum. Oh, okay, Grant. Okay. All right. So I've got a eight. Mm-hmm. So yep. can I use like part of my nine? Okay. Then I want to use then. Um, I only to get well. <laughs> I use four of my momentum to go in for the pin. So, so as go- soon as I hit the frog splash, I want to go straight into the pin. All right, all right, yeah, we'll do that, and you gain an audience for that role as well. So yeah, hit the frog splash. It amazes, amazes everybody. Real Eddie, Guerrero, vintage Eddie Guerrero here, and um, going for the pin straight away. So let's see if it works. One, two, kick out just before three. You're getting closer, but you still can't put Kazero away. So um, so Kazero is um, is going here. So we're gonna go for a straight roll between the two of us, Amy. What do you want to do next? Okay. Um, I want to stand him up and I want to put him into my cat's cradle. You want to go for the octopus? Okay, you want to go for the finisher. All right. Yeah. Uh, give us cat's a cradle. roll yeah. on that, please. Okay. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Ten. Ten. Nicely done. So uh, that is a chance. Can I beat a ten? I cannot. That was a terrible roll. So yeah, because Zero's locked into the cat's cradle here. So uh, yeah, give us another roll there to see uh, what I can top to see if I can break a zero out. My momentum ready. <laughs> I could still a ten. Is it still ten? Is it? It keeps going back to ten, but I don't know if it's the same one or if it's read it rolling again. So I'm just going to do it again. Nice and sporting. I like it. Okay, so yeah, so it's an eight. It's an eight. That's, okay. Yeah, because it was still a, the same one. It was so it's an eight mm-hmm. now. Yeah, okay, so eight to beat. And he does. So he's going to break out of the cat's cradle. Um, so he, he rolled a 10 there, just to be clear, just in case you think there's any subterfuge happening. Uh, there you go, see? So yeah. he's going to break out of the cat's cradle. Let's see what he does next. Uh, ooh, that's a nice roll. Okay, so there's going to be a bit of separation then. He's going to go then for a shotgun drop kick, which he's going to hit at you, Selena. So you're going to go down with that. Um, so... Uh, the one thing about Kazira is you have to kind of he builds momentum all right a, a lot. So he's going to pick you up there. He's going to whip you into the corner then, 
and he's going to go for a, uh, a kind of like a, one of those kind of step up drop kicks, um, which he hits. Um, so he, get, he gets that done. And then we go then. Right. So I've got a bad roll there. So he's going to go for a neck breaker, which is one of his signature maneuvers. So he kind of like hooks you in and he tries to go like, it's like a, a, a pendulum neck breaker. So he goes swing, swing, and then he jerks like to one side. So he's going to have you in the headlock. I'm going to give you a chance to reverse it. Okay. Um, so what I want to do then is if I do want to get out of it, mm-hmm. run him. So I want to push him towards the rope and I want to hit him with a drop kick. Ooh, I like it. Okay. Yeah, okay. give us a roll on that. 12 bitches. Nice, critical. So you're going to hit him on the fucking money with the drop kick. It's going to be like a fucking, it's going to be the drop kick, fucking Okada style. Uh, and so much so, you're going to gain an audience from that as well. So you're a tree audience with that. Um, and you get some momentum from that. So you're on seven momentum for that. Uh, so, Selena, continue on there. You've hit him with a nice flush drop kick. All right. I have him in the center of the ring. I'm going for the fucking sharpshooter again because I know I have damage, but I'm going to go straight, like, ra- right, proper rage back wrench it back to go into the slight bridge as well with it okay. and i'm gonna use my fucking momentum as well you want I want to spend, dead. how much are you spending all seven um no we'll go for four all right you got, so this is gonna be a plus four roll so carry on all right seven plus four it's an 11 so it's in tight it's in 11. good yeah it's in good and um, so let's see if he can drag himself to the ropes he can. He can drag himself to the rope. So I just need one more successful roll because that was a 10. And he fucking gets it. There you are. That's that's two 10s in a roll there, by the way. So yeah, he, he hits the ropes. But again, you're doing, you're focused on the lower back. So you're taking his power base out. You're taking, a lot of his offense is like grapples and stuff. So you're, you are like damaging him a bit. Um, so yeah, but you still have three momentum. You're still okay. Uh, so let's, we're both going to do a straight roll here to see who gets initiative. So Amy, do you want to roll there? Yeah. Eleven. Eleven. I, I almost certainly can't beat that. So you're well in control here. Go on, go on ahead. I'm back in that's cradle. I'm, I'm getting frustrated now. It's like I'm mm. really like really getting frustrated now. So I'm pulling them back up. I'm getting them back into into the cat's cradle again. To and I'm elbow. I'm using my bony ass elbow to like really work in on it now. Right, good, good. Give us a roll on that then. For fuck's sake, it's still at 11. Hold on. <laughs> oh dear. <clears throat> Did that give it and just, let's take it away? <laughs> still coming up as 11. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it was a nine. It's a nine. Okay, so it's in. You locked it in. Again, give you a plus one momentum for that. And then, oh, because zero drew you. You got a ten. You got a ten. So uh, you're gonna lock in the you're gonna lock in the cat's cradle, but he's gonna he's gonna find a way out of it. He's gonna shoot down for the leg. He's gonna take you down, and he's gonna break out of it. Now, here's the thing with zero. His finisher is a shining wizard, right? Um, but he calls it. Yes, but he's actually the name for it is the King Arthur because you know dragons get it. So he's gonna go for the King Arthur, which is a like a fucking vicious shoot, like shining wizard, which obviously he used to put away his opponent. Oh, snake eyes, he's gonna miss it. He's gonna miss it completely. <laughs> Nasty. So he's gonna spill out. He's gonna spill out to the middle of the ring. So what's gonna happen is he's gonna call for the for the King Arthur. He does like a pose. He runs for it. He's gonna fucking launch himself into this shining wizard. You're gonna just lie back flat. And he's going to roll right out of the ring. It's a fucking crash and burn shit, this is. So, Kazira's out of the ring. You're in the ring, Amy. What do you want to do? Um, I'm going to learn to fly on this one, I think. All right. Whereabouts is he outside? Like, I'm assuming then, like, if I go... Yeah, no, fuck it. I'm, just, I'm, I'm, climbing, I'm climbing up. I'm going for the top rope. All right. All right. This is never turned right. body. Basically, for, like... Um, <laughs> just have my momentum on standby okay <laughs> <laughs> that's smart that's a very smart choice very smart choice so you're gonna go for like I a have momentum in my back pocket on this one 
Yes, yeah, I'm face. I'm 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 thinking of every like '90s wrestler, '90 early '90s high flying wrestler I can think of. So I'm now thinking of Jeff Hardy. I'm going for a fucking Swanton outset to the fucking side. All right, I like it. I like it. Going for a Swanton, uh, Swanton even. So yeah, give us a roll on that. An 11. Nice. Nicely done. That's a nice roll. So, yeah. Strong saw on my ass. Oh, yeah. No, you fucking got him good here. So, you hit him first time the Swanton. No messing. Perfectly placed. Well in control. What's next? I'm rolling them back in and I'm going for a pinfall. I'm not taking an easy way out of trying to get a count out. I'm rolling them back in going for a pin. Good, 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 good. Give us a roll. <gasps> there you're putting the work in. Not critical, is it? It's critical. It's critical. It's critical. One, two, three. You got him with the swanton. You got him with the swanton, ladies and gentlemen. Your winner with the swanton bomb is Selena. So. Oh my god. You just take you just put away the Dragon Slayer twice. Nicely done. So yeah, that's that's well the audience is that is. That's fucking excellent. So give us your afters. What's happened? I am literally I'm after I'm I'm literally getting my head or my hat my head held out. Have my arm raised up high and I'm just looking down at them and instead I don't do anything, I just do a I just give it a little like a shrug and a smile as if and then kind of being like jet lag, yeah. And then just <laughs> stroll on out of the ring. Nice. But like nice. add insult to injury. Insult to injury. I do the little airplane. Do you know like when you see kids when they do the airplane? They have yeah. two arms out. So like I'm doing like the sway as I walk up as like flying on an airplane. Nice. So yeah, you're up the, you're up the ramp and then suddenly you hear from behind. Well, wait a minute. This is. That's James Rage's music. Is he coming James, down no. here? You fuck off! You fuck off right now! You fuck off right now! Don't you dare take this away from me! Don't James Rage dare. is, co- don't, James Rage is coming out. out! Oh Christ! He's coming out. Oh, he's just been recently. He's recently stitched up. He's heading down to the ring. He's heading down. I've to the only ring. got ten percent battery left, and this will die at six. So hurry the fuck up! <laughs> so James Rage is coming down. James Rage is coming down to the ring, but then his music gets interrupted as well. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> By Silver Fox's music, no less. So Silver Fox is coming out as well. That could, that kind of sto- spoils James Rage's steam as well. So Fox comes down. Meanwhile, meanwhile, I'm there doing like the, I'm like home in the helicopter parent. And then all of a sudden I have to stop as if he's fucking pricks. Like, <laughs> like you so, couldn't have waited. You couldn't have waited. So James Rage and Silver Fox are both coming down down the ramp towards Selena. Selena's backing off here. He's at the ring. And the two the, the two heels, like, again, not much respect Why between them. Why does this always happen to me? Why does this always happen to me when I get a decent win? But wait. You and fucking Butch. <laughs> but wait, there's more. And now rushing from the apron. From the from backstage is Cyrus from Gold. The from <laughs> underneath the ring, Cyrus Gold has made his name. The Cyrus Gold comes out and he bashes through Rage and, and Fox. He just smashes through them and then takes your side. Stand square to square. Bit of eye contact, but enough. Say so again, these are competitors, but you're on the right side here. So Fox and Rage, you're about to square up, you're about to go for it. It's gonna be after the day of you just like a week and a half away. But what is going to happen? We're gonna to have to have something going Kyle on here. Kyle Decker is gonna come out. <laughs> Kyle Decker is gonna make himself known. He does indeed. Out comes the news. Out comes the general manager before anything kicks off. Because you know it's TV here lads. Comes That's the general. <laughs> <laughs> fellas, fellas, ladies, lady, gentlemen, lady. <laughs> Calm Rage down. Dragon. Settle- <laughs> Rage. <laughs> <laughs> Psychopath, please calm down, everybody. Look, look, we've had a pretty, we've had a big show. We've had a, we've, we've seen a lot of you already here tonight. This is you're, you're gonna have to save this for the pay per view. I'm not, you're not gonna like it, 
You're not going to like it, but this is for your title match. You're not going to waste it here. But what I am going to do is, for next week, we need a main event. And because I'm the general manager, i got to do what general managers do, and I'm going to make a goddamn tag team match. On one side of the ring is a team of James Rage and Silver Fox, and on the other side is Cyrus Gold and Selena. If you want to get bragging rights for next for the next special next week, here's your chance. All four of you in a tag team match. That's your that's your match. That's your shot. Take it or leave it. And that's it. That is the that is the show ender. So our main event for next I, week. I, I I just I just want to add on just a little tiny thing. I just want to whisper to to Cyrus Gold. When did Kyle Decker become Teddy Long? <laughs> <laughs> Learn from the best, baby. Learn from the best. He, he put out like a, a holla, 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 manual for dummies. So I've been reading that all the time. But uh, but yeah, that's your main event for Thanks. next week. The four contenders face off in a tag oh team God. match <laughs> to see who gets bragging rights. So who will win that match? We'll tune in to find out. What's going to happen to Cutter? What is he going to do now? Now that his championship He's opportunity dead. is gone. <laughs> Indeed, how is he going to recover? What's going to happen to Alan Morph? He's on the championship hunt. Will he still help Silver Fox? Or will he be now moving on to bigger and better things? And of course... What the fuck is Dahlia Thorne and Damon Garrett going to do next with Violet Storm? That's all we're going to find out next week on Future Wrestling. We'll see you next time live on the VCR Network. Whiskey uh, on the rocks. Thanks. Mm. Cigar, perhaps? Uh, no, thanks. I quit years ago. Indeed. Well, Mr. Decker, I must admit your program has been quite a success on Tuesday nights. Ah, I'm glad to hear. Yes, indeed. Viewership is strong. Merchandise appears to be strong as well. Your wrestlers are making us quite a lot of money. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be thrilled to hear that. No doubt. It's looking quite likely at the moment that you'll get a second season. Oh, that's, uh, that's great news, really. There are a few things, however, I would like to discuss. Oh? So just what? Oh. Thanks. Well, as you may know, I regularly speak to Francis Rose, and he's provided me with quite a few suggestions to improve the product. I see. It's funny you should mention, Rose. I was just on the phone to myself. He said you greenlit his airtime tonight. I did. I felt it was appropriate to keep the audience interested in his character. I appreciate that, but uh, I don't like surprises. I'd rather he come to me first rather than talking to you about it. Well, Frank has indicated to me that he has discussed these ideas with you before, only for you to reject them. And I don't personally see how. It's just that Rose's ideas are fine. They're just old-fashioned, you know? It's just a matter of timing sometimes. If I pull the trigger on this now, I'm wasting a golden chance later on down the road when his boy is ready for it. I tend to disagree. Mr. Rose has shown to me countless times over the years that his creativity and ingenuity can be a valuable asset. I'd like you to implement these programs through next taping. I can't do that. I've already got the match card in place for the seventh. We've got promotions going on. I'd be overhauling a lot for what he wants. I can revisit this next month. Yes, I did happen to glance at this uh, match card of yours, and I must say, as intriguing as your main event currently is, I'm assured it can be better. By who? Rose? <laughs> With all due respect, he's only been in wrestling two weeks. You're going to take his opinion over my decade in the business. I'd prefer you to collaborate over these in future. In fact, 
Mr. Rose suggested something to me that intrigued me. Which is? He suggested his client beats James Lewis at your next taping and takes his title shot. Not possible. I need James in that match. Then replace the woman with him. Either way, I want Cutter in that match. Doesn't sound like I have much of a choice, do I? Welcome to the television business, Mr. Foster. Things work a little bit differently. Yeah. Seems that way. A simple and honest discourse can go a long way. Now that we have an agreement, we can continue on this good business relationship we're bound to have. Well, as you said, I've got a lot to learn. Quite. All in good time, Adam. All in good time.